All right, we're live, everybody. April 13th, 2024. Let's see who we got in the house here. We got David is here. We said hello, help all is well with him. TGM is here. Dave got a promotion. Good for you, Dave. Hope you're good. Jungle Bob, how you doing? Mr. Hank is here. Klaus is here. Everybody's saying hello. Klaus has a what is it tonight. So we're going to have a what is it from Klaus over in Denmark there. So that'll be fun. Uh, everybody's saying hello, hello, hello. We got Barry's here. Hello, Barry. Who else we got here? Everybody's saying hello, hello, hello. Boop, 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 boom. Uh, we're going to do the same format that we started a while back, where we're going to do uh, Chubby Butcha. Hello, Rick. How are you? Um, where we're going to do some tech for the first 30, 40, 50 minutes, whatever. I got a few things that happened with me and small engines this week. We'll talk about that. Hello, Pat. How are you? John Rhodes. How you doing? Everybody's still saying hello to everybody. Let's see. It's 30 in the house. Wow, that was quick. Everyone saying hello, 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 hello. What else we got? Who else? Did I miss anybody? TGM. Mac is here. Mac210. How you doing? Uh, who else we got? Everybody saying hello, hello, hello. I think. Oh, we got Haas is here. Peter is here. Wayne. What's going on there, Mr. Wayne? Everybody. Hey, look at this. Brucey. All righty. All right. The whole gang is starting to chime in. Mr. Clement is here. Hello, Bill. Everybody's saying hi, TGM Bruce, Hobby, Al is here. Hello, Al. And I think we're getting cut. Oh, Noel's here. Hello, Noel. Mick is here. Hello, Mr. Hardy. Yeah, speaking of Mick, uh, Mick's Moa's getting close to the 25K mark. So if uh, anyone isn't subscribed to Mr. Mick's Moa's, give him a little love. And hopefully we can get him up to the 25K uh what fuel mix i have we could talk about that bob we'll talk about that everyone's saying hello johnny bravo dilly dilly hopefully arch will uh come up anyone that doesn't know arch's garage dilly dilly that's his uh his saying now ben is here hello ben let's see i think we're pretty well Bruce is saying hello everybody's saying hello 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 i think we're getting oh glenn is here hello glenn Everybody, 39, wow, we're getting there. Everyone's saying hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Was it Three Stooges? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, let's see. I think we're almost caught up. Everyone's saying hello, 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 hello. Yeah, smash the like. It helps the channel. Doesn't cost anything. All right, we're getting close, close, close. Who else have we got? I think that is it. Yeah, everybody's saying hello. Yeah, we got it pretty, pretty well. Pretty well done the last couple of comments. Here, 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 here. Okay, caught up. All right, small engine. I'll put the link out there. Hold on. Those that didn't get it. Let's see. I put it in the WhatsApp. There's a link. Okay. So, small engine, what happened this week uh, with me? I had a guy that uh, emailed me a couple times, uh, put a question in a comment after one of our streams and was asking um, what's going on with, he's got a Briggs and Stratton, 17 horsepower, and I think it was a 31A is the motor, uh, 17 horsepower, vertical, he needs a set of rings. So, he ended up, uh, a Klaus, see, in the basement. And he ended up needing a set of rings, and he ordered based on the date code on his engine. Now, everybody knows in a Briggs engine, you have the model, the date, and the code. All right, and the model, the model of the engine, the date is the um, or model type and code. The model, the type, and then the code. And if you use the model type and code, you should be able to get parts for whatever you need. So anyway, he had a piston where it was smoking a little bit. He said, oh, the to rings so he looked up the date code if you look at the parts list it said those and hopefully he's listening uh to this today the date code was like august 5th of say 2005 well his date code or i think it was august 10th his date code was august 3rd 
okay, so you picked the date code before August 10th, which is what his was. Well, he ordered those rings, and I believe, and he'll correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he has a 2.5 millimeter ring land, and they sent rings that were only two millimeters wide, so not the right size. So at first, I'm like, well, did you order the right rings? We went through the numbers. He did order the right rings. Now, I've had it from Briggs and other sources where parts are mispackaged. It'll say one thing and be another, especially when you have, you know, you're within six, seven days of a certain date code where they swapped over manufacturing. So, you know, at first I said, well, did you try ordering the other part number? And it's $45 plus shipping for these rings. So he's a little nervous about that. And I said, well, call the guy you bought him from. Just say, look, you, here's a date code. Show him the date code. Here's what I ordered per the date code. Here's what I got. Doesn't fit. Maybe the guy will order the other set and you could try it out and see what it is. Otherwise, what I suggested to him, if he doesn't want to play around, order a piston ring combination, order it together. This way, you know, they're not going to send you mismatched parts. If you order a piston and ring set, hopefully you'll get the right thing. So, you know, we'll see what's going on with that. So waiting to hear from him. We'll see what's going on. Uh, what else happened? Got rid of the 359 Husqvarna saw. Thanks to Tom at Vintage Engine Repairs for helping me with that. And yes, Tom, I said it correctly. Anyway, Vintage Engine Repair over there in Australia. Good channel. Uh, he helped me tune the carb. Had a little bit of an issue. Oh, one thing. On Husky 359s, they came with an HDA Walbro, HDA 199 carb. There was an issue with those carburetors where the metal plate that covers the metering diaphragm, okay? Two things. The metal plate didn't have a hole in it to vent it. So uh, Scott Coons, he's a tree monkey on Arborist site, did a bunch of videos years ago on it saying you drill a one eighth hole in there, it'll let it breathe a little easier and it'll help out uh, the top and bottom ends and all that. And it did because the problem I had with the saw was I put it to 2700 RPM idle, which was great. And it idled great and it started great. But it, when I tacked it out, no matter how I turn the high speed screw, it was always going to about 14.2. And it's only supposed to go to about 13,500 RPM. But I, even the riching, 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 it was still going to 14. What the hell's going on? I drilled that hole, okay, yesterday, solved it. All right. It, it allowed it to go to the third. It actually went to like 12.8. So I was able to lean it out a little bit more, get it to the 13.5 per, I actually did a little bit less. I did about 13.2. So work perfect. So those who have a 359 or any of the saws with a Walbro HDA 199, put the hole in that metering plate. It'll help you out. And also under that metering plate, there's two gaskets instead of just one. Make sure the second gasket has the extra hole in it. There is an extra hole in the top gasket. So just just a tip, and if you guys want to email me about it, that's fine. Uh, all right, let's see who we got here first. I think we got in the basement right now, we got Klaus, we got Hank, we got Wayne, and we got Bruce. So first up is going to be Klaus. What's up? Good evening. Yeah, it is. It is. How's everything your way? Absolutely fantastic. This is H. Well, mowing season, right? I think all around. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but it feels like all the tractors in the neighborhood landed in my shop. There you go. <laughs> what are you working on? Any any issues, problems, anything? Yeah, I, I had a um, I had a, one of those front right mowers that, that we have a lot over here uh, with 12 and a half horse brakes on it, uh, overhead valve with a leaky uh, crank seal uh, at the uh, in the top. And it was so nasty, I had to pressure wash it. Yeah, that's when the coil died. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Yeah, it does, yeah, it does. And Usually yeah, with does. me, if I'm doing pressure washing when the engine's hot, I've seen rectifier regulators, the external ones on Briggs, I've seen those go out when they get wet. Uh, well, it was cold, but... Um, it didn't like it. I mean, but I had no choice. I mean, the thing was was, was a qu quarter inch thick of coating of oil and goo Ooh. and stuff. Yeah. So there was no choice. Uh, a good degrease on it. And then I pressure washed it. Yeah, it cost me a uh, coil. Uh, next thing was a carb. Um, but wait, let me ask you. What you Did you put an OEM coil on it? What would you use? Uh, for now, I got a Chinese one on. Seems okay. to work. Seems to work. I'll tell the customer, you know, if it dies within the year, I'll replace it and all that. But uh, going to the carp, it's a it's a Nikki without the uh, the little electric thing at the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
it, it was the the PCV valve hose mm -hmm. had come off the the, uh, the intake manifold, so it's been sucking in dirt. So mm -hmm. the, uh, the the choke mechanism was sticky. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got the part. Ultrasonic cleaned it. Um, now the uh, the choke butterfly works perfectly, mm -hmm. but the carburetor won't hold pressure. Do you ever look in the cylinder clouds? Do you have a camera like some of us do? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but but if it sounds right, if you yeah, can yeah. feel the compression when, when mm -hmm. it rotates, oh, yeah. I I usually don't. But carburetor uh, went south when it wouldn't hold pressure. I tried mm -hmm. everything, gone. So I put another aftermarket one on there. Runs perfect. And uh, now I'm just waiting for one single belt, and I'm I'm good to get that thing out the door. OEM belt or aftermarket? Aftermarket. Uh -huh. uh, actually, I use my my supplier. They have Kevlar belts, mm -hmm. which I think are actually better than. What color than though? What color? Because usually you see Kevlar here. They're like a blue color. Well, uh, they can be blue. They can be red. They can also be tan in color. Um, it's it's whatever it says on the specs on it. I, I use Rotary or Oregon or or. Um, uh, I can't remember the last one. It's, I think it's a local. It doesn't matter. It's still it's blue. It, yeah, it's yeah. Kevlar. Mm -hmm. uh, and and sometimes I think they're they're actually better than the Husqvarna OEM ones. But uh, how's the price though? Like half? Half. Yeah. yeah. Half. Yeah, half. So. But let uh, me ask you a question though, because a lot of small engine guys do this. What do you charge customer? Um, I usually charge whatever the customer can buy it for, online. Like OEM retail? Uh, yeah. No, no, not OEM. Um, I get a discount. For my oh, okay. Supplier. So you charge whatever it would be without a discount. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. I don't yeah, charge. Most, most OEM, of us I, get 10% or 15% uh, or whatever. Uh, yeah, not in that area. But I, do, I don't buy an air filter in China and charge OEM for it. Uh, I, I don't do that. that. That's not fair. Is but, that true? Uh, what he said? Look at what Wayne says. I I find uh, definitely full inches, but you can get half my, inch belt sometimes, depending on the manufacturer. I can get all sizes except the funny ones that MTD does. Oh, MTD is crazy with those things. Yeah, yeah, and it's not only half sizes with MTD. It, it's like yeah. three quarters and crabby. Yeah, three quarters, and, seven sixteen, eleven yeah. thirty second. Yeah, and sometimes John Deere has. Uh, a, a weird either mm. shape of belt or size of belt. Mm. I get that OEM, but yeah. but I can get I can get ninety nine percent of the belts from uh, from my supplier. So cool. uh, nice. aftermarket, yeah. All get right, belt. all right. Let's see. Next in the basement here, we got uh, the young man here, Hank. What's going on? Oh, hey! I was going to say, Klaus, you're off out of uniform. <laughs> I, I I went to Carhartt. Uh, <laughs> usually when I buy Carhartt though, it's usually for the winter for, yeah. for insulated yeah. stuff. Yeah. They, they make good t-shirts too. They really yep, do. Yep. Yeah, they do. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, how is everybody doing uh, good? Here, while, while the three of us, here's a question. And we'll chime in and says, why do we, why do they recommend not using synthetic oil in new engines? There's too much, too much uh, slip, not enough friction. How are you going to wear your rings in? You need those rings need to, to bite. They need to wear in but, so they can seal. But, but it's actually only Kohler that recommends this. I, I use this dyno great. oil in but all my rebuilds. I mean, I mean, we all do because that, that's how we learned it. But if, mm. if you call up Bricks and Stratton and say, hey, what's the best braking oil I can use for my Bricks and Stratton engine? Yeah. They go 5W30 full synthetic Bricks and Stratton oil. Here you go. I would never use synthetic on a break-in. A pure no, break-in, I mean, never. I mean, I mean that, that's how we learned it. Right? I actually use mineral oil, 30-weight mineral oil on all mm, my break-ins. Yeah, yeah, that's how we learned it. Yeah. yeah. But if you ask Briggs and Stratton, they say, mm. nah, not necessarily. Well, maybe. Oh, well, I, I, but you know what, though? I could see if you were using cast iron or steel rings in an aluminum bore. Absolutely. Because the ring is definitely harder than the aluminum. But if it's a cast iron bore with cast iron rings or steel rings, you need you need dyno oil. You know? You're absolutely right. And and I, I don't disagree. And and maybe it's because bricks now only have aluminum cylinders. I, I don't know. Mm, totally but but you're right. I mean even to this day, even if I get a cheap Chinese mower in, I will I will run the I will super fast the five hour, the first five hours, mm. 
but I'll do that in about 45 minutes to an hour yeah. with, with, with three cycles, hot and cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually but, three. I do three with the two strokes, usually like chainsaws and things. And I usually just use a regular Dyno SAE thirty, mm. and then I look, switch to whatever yeah. it's supposed to run on. Look at Gary's comment. Those cams were a hundred dollars a year ago. Now they're up to one twenty, yep. and, and they're yep. not as good as they used to be. Either. Nah, that's no, crazy. No. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. yep. What's Wayne saying? Belts. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah, so I was in my shed uh, rearranging furniture, and I'm going to make room for another toolbox, and uh, just so I can have workspace because I'm just too confined in there. Mm. Yeah, I'm no, no one, no wonder. Mm. Hey, Rick, though, Rick's coming here. Does you didn't say synthetic or dyno? What is it? It says SA30, but is that dyno oil or synthetic? I don't think I can even get thirty straight thirty uh, synthetic here. I can, but it's I have to order it. Yeah. I can get it from Napa, but they got to order it. You know where I used to get a lot? Uh, Rotella. The Rotella always had thirty at Kmart, yeah. but they, or Walmart. Yeah. They don't have it anymore. No. Yeah. No, but it's. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. If a new motor comes with a bottle of oil, yeah, you could use their own oil if they supply it. Yeah. No, but I mean, if you if you get a new Honda engine right out of the box, it comes Amen. with a bottle of oil. Mm. That's pot. That's pot synthetic oil right there. Normal mineral. All right, normal mineral, he said. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like I said, it's hard. It's funny. When you ask a guy for mineral oil, you go to an auto press store, it's only 30 weight. They don't have any other viscosity. Just about every every place I've gone to and I say, what do you got for mineral oil? 30. So. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, back in, the, back in the day, Bricks and Stratton recommended 5W30 regular mineral oil mm. for, for winter use. You can't get that anywhere. At least I can't. I mean, it doesn't exist. Mm. Uh, yeah, but let me ask you this. Look at Wayne's comment. I got a question on that. <laughs> SAE, would it? Because I've seen oil that says SAE 30, and I see oil that says SAE mineral oil. But ho hold on, guys. Viscosity has nothing to do with the quality of the oil. No, no, no. But mineral oil to me is different than dinosaur petroleum oil. It's a different base usually when you say mineral it's, oil. It's, no, when, it's not. No. no, that's the same. That's the same. Because normally, when you get mineral oil, it's clear. Okay, no dyes, yeah. no not. Well, well, my mineral oil is clear. And well, when we used to do machine tools years ago, and we specified mineral oil, it was clear. It never had any dyes in it or anything. I, I don't think Klaus knows what we have here as mineral oil. Yeah. No. Because I mean, I'll show you the bottle I have. I'll get it, it later. It's, it's, it literally it's says mineral, mineral oil. oil. Yeah, but that's not an engine lubricant. Well, this is designed for engines. It meets yeah. specs. It actually meets SE specs. The specs are on the back. It's got the the circles, but it's called mineral oil. You know, but, not but or, or 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 wait. Let me let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Mineral oil, I use for rebuilds, but also if I can't find mineral oil, non detergent. There you go. Okay, yeah. that's all right. And, and I'll be yeah. honest with you. In ninety percent of the cases, mineral it's easier to find non detergent than it is to find mineral. Yeah, you know. but see, in, in terms of, of, of oil film strength, mm -hmm. a non-detergent or an SAE30 high HD, which is detergent, mm -hmm. there is no difference in oil film strength. Uh -huh. they, they will both work as a break-in oil really well. Yeah. The difference between an HD and a non an ND, which is non-detergent versus high detergent, is the oil's ability to absorb impurities and suspend them mm -hmm. non-detergent oil will whenever you stop the engine all the particulates will fall to the bottom yeah they have what they call colloids in them the colloids mm -hmm. will grab the dirt and keep it in suspension so when you grab yeah. it it drains out yeah yes. they have food food uh grade uh mineral oil too exactly because we've had to use that in like i said food grade applications in you know restaurants and food yeah. manufacturing yeah yeah, yeah, and food yeah. grade grease, Crytox makes yeah. a food grade grease. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, I still uh, think the old the old saying about uh, breaking in an engine on unconventional oil, mm. and then switching to a part <laughs> or full synthetic after afterwards, uh -huh. no problem. Yeah. Just so you guys know, I know in the basement we still have Wayne, we still have Bruce, and we still have Simone. So I'm not ignoring you. It's just a new format we're doing now. We're taking yeah. a few minutes for each person to talk about small engines real quick. Then we'll get to the banter and all the fun, fun, fun. Yeah. All right. so, okay. you know, 
Um, <laughs> yeah, but Hank, you've been on this Timu <laughs> spree. I mean, they got your number, buddy. I mean, they, they know I mean, you're, well, well, you're No, paid. no, you're it, here, it's, it's, it's not even a spree. He's got stock. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I look at Amazon and I look at Timu and the prices at Amazon for the same identical product. Yeah. Double, yeah. double. You figure double, right? Yeah. So I've been going nuts because uh, everything's going up like crazy. Yeah. And I'm buying these things at a good price before I have to pay that ridiculous price. You know yeah. what I mean? But let me ask you, though, what you're buying or what you have bought in the last week, do you really need it? Well, I don't need it because you, you <laughs> bought one, so now I got to have Oh, there you go. Like All right, see, now, now it comes Now he sounds right. like my wife. What's going on here? <laughs> it's um, not that I need it. It's yeah. I want it. I like it because... Yeah. You guys did use it, yeah. and I never had one. So let's let yeah. me buy one to you. I I try and charge a t a special tool to the job. Let the customer pay for it if it's not too expensive. You know, I have no customers. I deal <laughs> myself. Yeah. But Hank, if I if I'm real lucky today, I may have one of you. I may have. Uh, oh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, don't give well, it away we'll though, Klaus. No, 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 no. I'm not giving anything All away. Right, but I Klaus may... has to. What is it today? Yeah. Uh, We'll see. We'll see. What else you got going on, Hank? You starting anything yet, or still still not spring yet? Well, still I, not mowing yet? No, no. I, I, oh wait, I you got what head gaskets and what, what are you working on? Yeah, I'm going. I'm working on a Kohler engine that my uh, friend gave me. Uh -huh. um, you know, and uh, my other buddy gave me a push mower, and I got. I'll work on that to sell it. Um, then I got two other push mowers. I got a weed whacker uh, push mower type thing. You know, there's a lot of little projects that I'm going to get to. I got to get the my work area finished first. Yeah. I say know? that every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. It's so full in there. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Hey, just so you guys know, Mick down here, he's approaching that 25K mark. So anyone who's not subscribed to Mick, someone want to put a link in there. Mick, if you want to put your link and we'll try and get you over the 25K mark today. That would be good. I think he's only a few yeah. hundred from being there. Maybe so. if, if we're lucky, he'll come up and he can uh, talk. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll see. see. We'll like, see. like Mick was saying, the new uh, blade balancer is coming in today. Well, mine came in last week. I swore I would never buy one of those. I just use a nail. But you know what? At the price, you've got to do it, you know? Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's see. Who do we got next? EP. Hello, Wayne. Hey, how you doing? Hold on. I've been, <laughs> watching, your, I've been watching your girlfriend there, uh, Erica, over there in Toronto. Yeah. Checking out some, uh, some good videos. I tell you, someone said to me the other day, she must have a lot of them in the bank, because how can you put out an hour or so video every other day or so? She, they got to have some in the bank. Tough. You know? A lot yeah. of work to do a video oh, yeah. every day. But very thorough, though. It's almost like a James Condon video. Not as good as, but close, you know. Who is as good as James? <laughs> not many. Right? That's why he says, welcome back. So, anywho, what's going on at uh, EP Performance? We're swamped. We oh, yeah. got the whole shed is filled with completed push mowers, self-propelled mowers, riding mowers that Jake's got a delivery. He's out working on a Mustang with his pit crew again today. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What are you guys coming uh, for deliveries, Wayne? If someone comes in with a mower or a tractor, what do you tell what's them? What's that, Kenny? What are you telling people when they come in with a mow, push mower or a tractor or a chainsaw? What are you giving them for lead times? One to two days. Really? Wow. Yeah, same day. Normally, really? I can do them. I can knock them off. Like I'll do the most. I think I personally myself have done in a day is uh, uh, two riding mowers and six or seven push mowers, full yeah. complete. And yeah, that yeah. took me, that was like eight plus hours to get them all done. Okay. All right. Cause I mean, you being retired now, that is your full yeah, time. Yeah, I got, I'm in the shop all day okay. drinking coffee and watching yeah. YouTube, watching you guys, watching your live stream and yeah, yeah. Right, oh, coaches like and Hank and, and Mick and watching everybody. Well, come on over. We can sit together and watch. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you ever find that SV 540 3232, I'm going to drive down. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm not too old and they pull my license on me, you never whoa, know. Whoa, <laughs> I thought Jake was selling that engine. What's that? 
No, that's he's got that's that Kubota. He's got we got to it's in storage. We got to pull it back, and I think we'll tear it apart and take a look at what needs replacing, and I think we'll rebuild it. But uh, he's got one guy he's offered it to to him as is sitting for a parts machine, or if he wants to do the engine, four hundred bucks, which is a good deal. We pick up a few dollars on it from the hundred and seventy five bill that we had on working on it. And if he wants work now, if he wants us to redo the engine, then it's going to be maybe twelve hundred. Oh yeah. To anywhere it's like a used one, that used mower sells over here for twenty five hundred U.S. or wow. Canadian. So it sounds like pate prices. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's getting crazy over here with uh, mowers. Like yeah. now, what what's really weird today is a guy brought us a Troy built. Uh -huh. With a GCV 160 engine on it. Uh, he, first, he said it was four years old. Then he uh, said, Wait, hold on a second. I'm surprised an MTD like that would have a Honda engine. Well, you can buy them. They're, they're more expensive. Like even in 1973, Kenny, when they did that stainless steel MTD uh, one year limited edition stainless steel deck mower, yeah. you could order that with a Honda engine on it. Really? Yeah, so I think, as a matter of fact, both of the stainless steel ones Jake's got in the shed, the one that's a push and one self-propelled, they both got Honda GCV 160s on them. Wow, nice. So well, I anyways, thought... I got this Troy built, and uh, even with carb spray, it's not good. it doesn't fire, right? Hmm. So first thing I'm thinking, well, we got to take it in, check it for spark. So I take it in, I hook up the gap spark tester, I give it a, a rip, I got spark. So then I take out the spark plug, figuring it's got to be a torch, right? But it's an NGK, hmm. uh, BPR five ES. Was the I valve cover dented in? Because that's no, usually usually no. the con contractors bring them in with the dented covers holding the valves open. No. So I yeah. take that, and I good thing that Wayne sent me that spark tester, that comparator. So it hmm. was a long plug. So I put that plug in the thing, and I tested yeah. it, and the thing yeah. shorting out to the base. Oh, get out. So yeah. I says, all, all right. right, there's yeah. the issue. So I grab a new, brand new yeah, spark yeah, plug. Yeah. I put it in the tester. The thing's perfect. Yep. I check the gap. Yep. I put it in. I expect this thing to fire right up. Nothing. I give it a shot of carb spray. <laughs> Nothing. Really? So I says, what the hell? I says, yeah. you know what? The kill switch is working. I know I got spark. Now I got a good plug. It's got to be the overhead valves. But when I look at the carburetor, the carburetor's just got like a quarter inch of just grime and dirt and everything on it. Yep. And when I pulled the air filter, it was dirty. I said, you know what? I'm going to pull the carb off and do a carb clean. Yeah, yeah. So I did an ultrasonic carb clean, drained out the old fuel, put fresh fuel in it, started up first pull. So I'm a happy camper. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, just so you know, that spark tester, you know, I started out with one, a couple people bought one. And then this other guy here, he just bought one the other day. Yeah. Yeah. They're great. Well, <laughs> Before we put a use a spark plug, we put it in that tester and check it. Yeah. 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 Well, I want to modify the the one that I got. You use the short plugs, yeah. Yeah. yeah you oh, gotta you got to send me. So you got to do a video on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna... I've, Hank. I've been planning on doing that for a year. I just. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting, Kenny. I know. I know. <laughs> I no, think. Yeah. Oh, I think all we have to do though is make up an adapter, like a silicone adapter, right? That has a wire in it leading to the a tip, so that when you stick it in, it connects the end of the plug to the brass piece inside. That's all, because it's too short to reach it. That's all you gotta do is extend the end. That's all you're doing. Yeah. So I think if we make some kind of a insulated, because you want to short it out, an insulated adapter, you know, that's all. Now, any of you? Yeah, Bruce. They're in di hold on. They're in different color. No, Bruce. Bruce. This is this is the electronic one, like a chamber. Yeah. Where you got the two holes where you can adjust the output in RPM, and it's pretty close. I put a tachometer on it. That potentiometer, when it says 8,000, is around 75, 76, pretty close. It's, it's pretty close to what it's supposed to be. So that's the actual tester, Bruce, where you see the sparkage coming out of the plug, or you see it, like uh, Wayne said, grounding to the electrode or something. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Yeah, any of you guys see the new video? Uh, I think it's individualized repair. Just put out, I don't know if it was a couple of days ago, on yeah, the Briggs and Stratton air filters. Oh, yeah, where he uses the foam. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good tip. Well, I tell you, so but here's the thing, yeah. too. The foam works great, especially those yellow pieces with the hole in it already. Yeah. But what I found, too, is two things. Putting a little bit of grease around it, you know. Yes. When you, but OEM filters versus the aftermarket, especially on two-stroke equipment. I had a filter that I bought for the um, my Echo uh, backpack, the 580T backpack. The foam on one, the rubbery foam that seals, was yeah. literally an eighth of an inch thicker on the OEM, and the non-OEM, it wouldn't seal. It would just suck in dirt. Well, he, he took some cardboard and, you know, made a, a wedge to put in the back, so it pushed it in. Yeah. Push it in more. Yeah. Yep. But I like the fact that he used that O-ring on, on the... Yeah, on yeah. Zero. Well, those air cleaners yeah. suck. I hate those air The yeah. oval ones, yeah, they never seal correctly. And yeah. how many times you open up a V-twin like that, especially, and, and you take off the filter and there's dirt everywhere, you know? Yeah. And the, even the suitcase filters, the one that has, like, the little handle on it, those handle portions never seal. I always yeah. put grease or something on them because they never seal, you know? Oh, what's James saying? Chocolate tester that heats the. Oh yeah, because James did that one time where he actually heated up a plug in a vice and he saw the resistance go to nothing. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. He's got a video on. No, it. but I mean, I mean, sometimes people complain about that we change spark plugs every fifty hours, thinking like that is not necessary. But sometimes it is. Mm. <laughs> these little these spark plugs. I mean, in those little engines. They work a lot harder than they do in your car. Oh, the, ne the next guy I'm going to bring up, though, he's going to tell you how he had a spark plug for like 87 years. All righty. Hey. Yeah. Lucy. Hi there. All right. Hi, Didn't dude. you say there's a you can, you never change some of them? Or well, it, if I've got a, a like a I had one a 27 year old Tecumseh with an original car or original plug. Sorry. Yeah. And it was a heavy, like three times the weight of a modern plug. Mm. I'll clean that um, because you know yeah. you've got something that's that's quality made. Yeah. But some of this new stuff, I'm I'm not fussy. I'll change them up. Yeah. Now Rick's asked about the foam. Yeah, you're supposed to oil all the foam filters. The only foam filter I'll never oil is the uh, pre-filter with the screen on the Briggs. I yeah. don't oil yeah. those. But if it's yeah. just foam, I put it in a Ziploc bag. And da, 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 da. Yeah, I buy uh, I buy, buy a spray can of of uh, filter oil. Um, yeah, sorry, Hank. What were you saying? Light lightweight oil. Yeah, like yeah. Would you get yeah. in a three-in-one can? Yeah, ten weight, it? ten weight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you could, I, I, you could I, richen it out and starve it, yeah. yeah. I yeah. buy a, a can of uh, air filter oil. It's used for dirt bikes and ATVs. And I just spray the underside of, of, mm -hmm. of the foam and mm -hmm. put well, it I in. That same Tecumseh I ran for 27 but, years without uh, without wetting the, the foam mm -hmm. at all. Oh, no, yeah. I never used to do no, it. In fact, I'm, James no. is the one... That in in his videos, I would do it once in a while. But I'll give you an example: a two, uh, four stroke Honda Quad only has a, a piece of cylindrical foam. That's all it has. And I'm figuring that without the oil, you know, I don't think it's going to really do anything. So I, I oil that. And now yeah. from now on, even the pre filters that go over the regular filters, I oil them. I Let's face it: if you're in a dusty situation, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. If you're my, not, my, you really don't have to. Yeah. My, we my, haven't, we, my, we my, haven't my, oiled my, anything in 10 years. No. Not my, one. My, my problem is that if you oil them, which yeah. you're basically supposed to, yeah. and, like and people and people don't bring them in for regular service. Yeah, it'll clog. It'll yeah. clog up like crazy. Oh, yeah. No, no. When you oil them, you're supposed to wash them and re-oil oh, yeah. them every no, now no, and I then. I do that. Oh, yeah, I, I, I agree. Soapy solution, uh, wash them, dry yeah. them. But if people don't bring the mower in yearly, mm -hmm. it, 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 it compounds. It, 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 it gets even worse because the thing is choking so much, mm -hmm. it, it'll yeah. start yeah. building up carbon and blah, blah, blah. And then you get so, that black so, oil foam all over everything. Yeah. Like and I tell you, to, to, yeah. to, to yeah. James. So I, I, I'm a little bit with, with, with Bruce here is that, no, I don't oil him as the instruction says. I spray a little bit of that air filter oil on the on the bottom put it in and go yeah, yeah that's, that's what it. we use on motorcycles and quads yeah they suck in a lot yeah. more air than a small but car. i'll be honest <laughs> when, when i'm adjusting a motorcycle or a quad too especially the four-stroke one the honda 70s 90s things like that 
your carb adjustment. It needs that oiled filter or else oh, it yeah. won't right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You can Even never you can never richen it up enough, you know. Oh. Even on a Honda more, uh, you yeah. put the you put the filter on and it runs a little differently. Checker. Oh yeah, uh, it's but when we, that way. Yeah. when we get oil filt like machines, the Briggs and that that come in and they need the the uh, foam filters, yeah. if they've been oiled and they're just totally caked with debris yeah. and everything, they get heaved and they get a brand new one that never oh. gets oiled. And guess what? We get it back five years later. We wash it out in soapy water, put it back in, and it's yeah. still running. Yeah. And it didn't come. And it didn't come in for a carb yeah. clean. It came in for an oil change. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we, 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 we all we all know that people say that if you don't oil the foam filters, it'll suck up dirt. Blah blah blah. Have yeah. any of you guys ever seen the dirt in the carburetor from a non-oil filter? I have never. I've seen it in quads. Yeah. On the classics, I've seen it. Mm. Yeah, classics are fact, always on, filthy. Yeah. On the classics, if it's oiled, I, I can put my finger inside there and feel the oil that's going into the carburetor and the engine from the oil that's on the on the filter. Yeah, yeah that's but, but, but isn't like that coming out of the crankcase, Hank, or, or Wayne? No, just no, I don't think so. I think I think it's the oil, like when we get them, they're like. If I bring one of them into the house to clean in the, in the sink, I'm out of here. Like it's a new, it's a, it's a new one for me because she's gonna leave. <laughs> no, but I mean, have you ever seen dirt in the carburetor from a non-oiled foam filter? That's a good question. I, I don't think I, I've I, ever I, particularly looked for that I mean, particularly. You know? I have because when I started not oiling them, I start looking when they came back a year later. I was with my flashlight going, if mm -hmm. there's just a speck of fine dust here, I'm going back to oiling. And I haven't found any dust yet. Well, look at James's point, too. Yeah, and some of them you get a lot of blow by coming <laughs> in the piece. Yeah. Of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like they're oil yeah. from the inside. Yeah. 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 No, but I mean, but I mean, well, the, the classic doesn't doesn't get its blow by or its PCV air mm. through the filter. Mm. It gets it after the filter. So, so that, right. that'll never, but blow by from a, a little leaky intake valve. Yeah, oh yeah, it gets oiled. Yeah. Like the quantum's the the uh, crankcase hose goes right into the air filter, doesn't it? How many times have you guys yes. forgot to hook yes. up that hose to the air filter back? Never. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, many, many, many. Ma That's okay. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> many times. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? You know when I realized I did it. Two hours after you picked it up, I'm like, son of a bitch, where is this? Yeah, guy? You know? I know. Yeah. How many times have you made the phone call? Can you just, and the thing is on those, you can't really reach in and no. do it. You got to take know the call I mean? out. Have so, you guys tried, have yeah. you guys tried the phone call? Uh, have you used the more you just picked up? They go, no. You check the oil. I'll, I'll be right over. I'll my worst, right no, over. my worst was a snow blower. I changed the oil in it and everything, brought it to the lady's house. It was literally an hour before the snow was going to start. And I'm like, did I tighten the five ace nut on that Tecumseh oil drain tube? And I'm like, <laughs> shit. I drove over her house. Good thing I did. It wasn't even finger tight. And I was like, damn. But yeah. she was only two miles away. It wasn't bad. Literally, I tightened it up. I drove home. The snow started. So I was like, it would have blown the engine. You know? Gary. In a, that's, in a, that's where it's that's nice to turn the video day. camera on on every job. Because then, uh, yeah. then you yeah. can yeah. Yeah. go yeah. on yeah. check and see yeah. if you've True. plugged that yeah. thing. Gary, why are you confused? 5W30 full synthetic on everything. And you're good to go. And Bruce and doesn't agree, but trust me. And <laughs> so what'd you work on? Anything this week, Bruce, or no? Uh, well, I'm almost back uh, living life pain-free. So I did go through the barbecue yesterday and clean up all of the half a pail of crud out of there. And now I've got three lawnmowers lined up. I got an old Briggs Classic with the aluminum uh, short shaft. The engine's a short shaft with the aluminum red body. Uh, what are those? Uh, aluminum red body. What are we talking about? They're really low lawnmower. Push mower. And uh, it's got the aluminum. Like a rally or something? Like one of those? Yeah. What is it? I've, I've got a personal one that I rebuilt. Yeah. And the engine is getting really tired. And I just thought I might swap the engine from this one. I mean, this one I've got over to that and then rebuild the old one, which would make another good video. I'm looking for stuff that doesn't take too much strength. 
Are you going to do anything with that other big saw that you have? Yep. I just can't pull it right now. Mm. Cool. Yeah, that that uh, that saw is it's running great. It needs a clutch, mm -hmm. and uh, the finishing of the paint and the and the decals, and that that would make a great video. So yeah, I, I got stuff coming up. I'm just really taking it easy. Still. Yeah, so, that's good. Like All me. right, we've got someone who's been waiting patiently, even though she's not a small engine person. She's a, what? I'll say she's a welder. Hello, Simone. Hello. What, what, have well, you been, hello. what have you been welding on TC or the bike or what have you been doing? Uh, no, I've been, um, I had um, an old sofa bed and um, it was past its date, past its sell by date. So I put it outside thinking I'm going to take it to the dump and it never happened because I couldn't get it to the dump. So I took it apart. And I was thinking, there's a metal frame in here and I can use that. And you're talking over a year ago. So I didn't have my modern welder. I had the old welder, which didn't work very well at all. Uh, and if you did get it working, within five minutes, it was broken again. Um, so only recently, um, I would say the end of last year, I bought myself a brand new welder. And I did a small amount, like a smattering of welds. and I brought it into the house because my shed is so damp. If I left it there, it would just rust and there wouldn't be much left of it. So today I went down, I found all the pieces of steel that I had. It was starting to rust and some of it had rusted already. So I looked through the best of it, found some good pieces, cleaned it up with a flap disc, cut the pieces to length and start welding it um and i'm using flux core wire i don't know if anyone here does welding but i found there's a tip if you reverse the polarity it, you don't get so much spatter mm. well dc electro negative right uh i don't know <laughs> i'm Bruce still D. learning it really. electro negative right for less spatter yeah if you're if you're gonna use flux core you have to flip the uh mm. the polarity yeah so that's what that Today, I was getting quite a lot of spatter and it was driving me crazy. So, Simone. I only found out this evening that there was a video I could do I could, and I can switch it. Simone. Yes. It depends on the wire you buy also. If you buy a good quality wire, it's a good quality flux in the flux core. Mm -hmm. yes. It won't splatter as much as a cheap, cheap, cheap wire. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that um, my Harbor Freight welder, the crap that came with it, the Chinesium wire. Yeah, oh yeah. my God. But yeah, then I bought, yeah. link, I bought Lincoln wire. And it's not much more for Lincoln wire, and it's worth every yeah. cent. Yep. Well, yeah. say, saying that, I'm still using the wire that came with the machine because it's brand new. Yeah, right. but like um, I said, what comes with the machine usually is cheap. You know? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I bought another reel uh, last year, just before Christmas. And from a local store, and I think I got a sneaking suspicion that's going to be cheap as well. So I'm going to go to the local machine mart and get myself a decent quality core wire. But no, going back to talking about mowers and small engines, because I do have a small engine. <laughs> um, my lawnmower, I hadn't used it since last year. And it had a heavy year last year because I used to take it to the church and chopping up bramble with it. Not really what it's designed for, um, but I tried firing it uh, last month and it didn't want to fire. So I took I took the airbox off, I took the carburetor off, I cleaned out the bowl, and took the spark plug out, and it was jet black. Really? So I, I cleaned it all up. And that's I, a quantum I did... though, because that's a quantum, so that should be yeah. fairly easy to work on. Yeah, it's a quantum. So I cleaned up the carburetor. Uh, sorry, the spark plug. Put it back in. Uh, and I did check the filter, actually, and the filter was spotless. Hmm. Absolutely spotless. There was nothing on it. Um, so it, it's it, it's done pretty well, to be honest with you. I will check the um, oil level because I think that might need to be adjusted. Hmm. If, uh, it's, if it's burning black, the bolt that holds the uh, – this is old school, but the bolt that holds the bowl on has two jets in it. Did you check that? The brass bolt. Um, no, plug, I didn't. That, that's the lowest point in the fuel system, and that gets dirt in it, and that'll act like a choke. <clears throat> oh, okay. I will have a look at that. Oh, one thirty-nine to go for Mister Mixta to get twenty-five k. Oh wow! Mm. Well done, Mick. 
I'm still um, one thousand seven hundred and something. But no, I'm uh, I've done some filming today, and Good. yeah, really <laughs> pleased with my progress. Nice. But what, uh, what? unfortunately. Sorry. No, sir, when's that bike going to be going? Are you how how are you progressed on the bike? Um, I haven't had a chance to go up to the garage yet because obviously the weather's been horrendous. Yeah, I saw that. Um, but I'm hoping to go up fairly fairly soon and put the chain on the bike. Okay. I know it's how, not a massive thing, but it's yeah. it's a step in the right direction. Now what you sent something out the other day. What'd you send to somebody? A carby or something? What'd you send out? Carburetor. Oh, I uh, haven't haven't sent it yet. Um sending the carburetor for the Cortina. Um, to my friend Adrian, I'm having some parts sent from my friend Zuni um, to Adrian. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can find somebody who wants to go on a road trip with me. So it'll be go going to collect these parts and the carburetor, yeah. and then come back. So yeah, I might film that as well. Um, yeah, you said uh, there was he... parts missing from your carburetor. You uh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oopsie. <laughs> Who's got the rock and roll on? That wasn't me. Well, me. It wasn't me either. Yeah, no, right. not me. Holy you God. look guilty. Don't give me the. <laughs> hey, it wasn't me. Trust me. That's right. Sounds like disco inferno. Uh -oh. yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a linkage uh, missing from the choke oh. to the. Um, no throttle to the for the auto choke. There was a, a linkage missing. It's like a curved bar with a hook one way and a hook the other way. Right. Well, I thought so, you were going to convert it to the manual choke. Weren't you doing a manual choke? I am, but this linkage is still needed. Mm. Uh, but Adrian said to me, he said, "Look, send it up. If it's got anything missing, I'll replace it and I'll get it. You know, get it all running for you." So, yeah. and he How also did you said, ever make out with that wing you bought for the car? Oh, that's what I'm building the trestle for. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, luckily, some of the steel that I had was the right height, so it's like waist height. Yeah. Um, so, I can literally place the wing or the, the fender to you guys um, on the trestle at a decent height, and I can work on it. So, that's the whole plan. But, yeah, it's it's really good to actually start welding again, and I've missed it. Now, do you ever, I know Hank was talking about this one time too, you have like a, a copper backing plate and then you could just take the weld and fill in little yes. holes and things. Yeah, yeah, it's really handy actually. Mm. And it, it would have been help, more helpful today if I could have found my um, vice grips and I couldn't find them. I didn't know where they were. So I had to use a pair of grips just to hold the end of the copper. Mm. Oh, I always forget if it's copper or brass. I always copper, forget. Copper, yeah. yeah, copper. So I managed to fill in some holes because I did blow through some steel because um, unfortunately when you've got rusty metal you can blow through it oh yeah well even if so, it's not rusty if you don't have the right settings bam you know yeah yeah I was chasing um this hole you know but I've actually <laughs> filled, filled it eventually we've all been there we've all been there oh yeah, yeah. we're always chasing Just, holes yeah so I okay. grounded go slow yeah what 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 <laughs> like, <laughs> I ground it back there you go. Hang on. If I find, I'll find the picture of um, what I did. I'll see if I can share it. There was a guy on there on one of the welding channels where he was showing his first time ever doing a MIG welding. He bought a Harbor Freight welder. And literally, he made a decent piece of sheet metal look like Swiss cheese in about five minutes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> well, he kept on adjusting the settings, more heat, yeah. less feed, da, da, da. And no, the thing yeah, looked yeah, like yeah. Swiss cheese. Yeah. That's the first well, time I heard, I heard Hank talking about putting copper on the backside so you can fill it. I thought, yeah, the old geezer, he's just... Mm. Yeah, yeah, they used to so, sell the so paddle. I, 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 the paddle I, I, the I'll, paddle. I'll try it now, now that he said it. So I'm, oh, it works know, great. Yeah, because it, it doesn't stick to it. Yeah. So, sorry, Hank. <laughs> Don't hang on to that <laughs> copper, though. You'll get you'll burn your hand. Hey, Cliff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It takes up a lot of heat. Yeah. And I tell you, if anyone's playing with TIG, I'll tell you from experience, make sure you have gloves and everything else on because the shock you get, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Say that again. When you're doing TIG, if you're not insulated and have gloves and everything, when it shocks you, it is shocking. 
take? Is that when you have the handle upside down? No, tungsten no. inert gas with the electrode with a tungsten with, inert gas. Yeah, like with a thoriated electrode. Yeah, like a laser. Like, like like that's gonna happen in my show. No, tigs are coming down in price. They're really yeah. affordable now. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the <laughs> but the skill set to yeah. use it is missing. Well, what's nice is you don't have as much smoke. You get a nice clean weld. It's, yeah. it's, tigs, it's very yeah. very nice. Yeah. And the more you do, the better you get. Yeah. Yeah, well, well that's oh, what everybody go. says, and yet. <laughs> we used to take the TIG torch and go up to the other welder, and if he was close to... Oh, yeah, you he, touch his ass? <laughs> yeah, and it would go right through through his. Oh, yeah. Because he's grounded. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yeah, well, that's so, like when we used to take the acetylene, the foam cup, yeah. put a bunch of acetylene underneath him. Bam! Glad I never worked at your place, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> you notice how he yeah. said his former job. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me throw the link out there again. Where's Mr. Condon? Come on up, Jim. Yeah. I want to know if that rally engine has a Tecumseh engine on it. I said we used to have rallies in Caldors and Bradleys here at department stores. Oh, and, uh, I fixed one, I fixed one older, last fall. Yeah. And the, the older I'm, rallies, they're all AYP products. I think MTB really? took over for the last couple the of years. The rallies that we had were uh, Murray, Murray products. This one was a, mine was a 1986, I think. Yep. Ken, can you see the image I'm sharing? No. Oh, it looks like, it looks like you. Yeah. yeah, it looks just like yeah. you. Yeah. Holy cow. It's telling me I'm sharing a screen. Oh, no, it's in the bottom of your screen. you got to go get it. In the basement. The oh, the no. basement. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, ready? Is there something you can show on YouTube? There yes. Oh. Was that a so frame? That's what I, What's that? That's the frame for the trestle. That's what I made today. Oh, to hold up the the, the, the wing. <laughs> that's good say, stuff. Right? Yeah. That's the hardest thing in the world to make? What'd you is, make it out of? Is it a rectangle? <laughs> it's um, it's an old, old sofa frame. frame. Oh, okay. Old sofa frame. Yeah, because usually you, you get the bed frames and stuff like that. And Hank was saying the other day too, you don't know what it's made out of. No, you don't. Yeah. 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 You can, you can um, use it for general purpose shelving and stuff like that. Yeah. But I wouldn't yeah. Use it for anything well, I need to, to, I need to ground it, grind it down, and paint it. Mm. How long did that take yeah. to do? A uh, couple of hours. That's not bad. Cool. Not too bad. Yeah. You break out a welder, you got to say goodbye to the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. Isn't it, though? Yeah. Even with all of the challenges. Oh, oh Simone, come back. I got rid of your photo, and I got rid of you, too, by mistake. Come <laughs> on back up. I thought I was just getting rid of the photo. It got rid of her. I'm surprised you guys even let me up here. I haven't fixed anything since the second week of December. Well, like well, we say, well, Bruce, well, like well, we well, say. You're on notice for that. Well, like we always say, too, we say employ the aged. They're fun to watch. Yeah, you Ooh. got seniority, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Yeah, you did. Come on, come on back. I but I'm with you. I'm with you every week if I can. Boy, in Mexico, I had to use my cell phone as a hotspot to uh -oh. find you guys. <laughs> uh, so it was so crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I thought I was just deleting your photo. I clicked on the wrong thing, didn't I? No, I think I when I deleted it, it said kick hawkers. It was different. It was a different title name. So I clicked uh, on it and then both of you disappeared. And I was like, oh, what happened? No, I thought that was my fault. I thought I did something. Mm. But, uh, yo, just a Mick, why don't you come up and say hello. And, uh, hey, Mick, you haven't fixed anything for, for four weeks either, you lazy. Hey, look, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. Mick, I, I did I titled doing. my stream helping out Mick, okay? Yeah. I'm wearing the Mick hat. Yeah. I'm wearing the Mick shirt. Come on the hell up. All right, yeah. let's go. So we confused that guy that asked about oiling or not oiling foam filters. So yeah, we sure did. Said, eh? oh, <laughs> yeah, he said so. We got to set up procedures, right? So well, it depends okay, well, what I've done though. Yeah, 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 no, 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 just, no, 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 hold on, guys. Say, no, guys, this is a very, light coat of easy. oil isn't going to hurt, but no, I wouldn't oil good. anything that's on a paper filter or, like Kenny says, that thin one that goes on the. The on the quantums yeah. that's got the wire on it, it even says right on the OEM one, do not oil. Yeah, Rick, no, he comes on. in at it's, the it's, end. It's, you got to wait till the it's end. It's very, very easy. Follow your instruction yeah. manual. But just like Klaus yeah. says, if you're not going to wow. do anything with the filter for 12 years, don't oil it. You know? No, but I mean, if if, 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 if you're in doubt uh, about what we are ping-ponging here, <laughs> follow your manual. But if you yeah. oil it, 
make sure you read the other part where it says to be serviced within one year or 50 hours. Or, oh, sorry, 25 hours. 25 hours. If you don't do that, you're, you're, you're not setting yourself up, up for success. So if you, if you oil it, please do. That's what the book says. But make sure you service and re-oil it every 25 hours. Otherwise, you may okay. have it. Yeah. No, but but that's what the book says. And I, to be honest with you, the one I had luck with was a 27-year-old machine, which probably had lots of uh, extra play in the motor, and you know, it wasn't a, a high a high tolerance engine like they do now. No, no, no. But I mean, today they get the same output out of a 130 cc engine as Briggs did on a 190 cc yes. engine. So, that's so great. of course, it's a little more. No, yeah. I've learned. I've learned to respect the power mores, right? Just yeah, because yeah. that's the latest new engine. But okay. at 149 cc's, they have about as much power as a 170. Yeah. I usually, I mean, my experience is that, for instance, Long Sin, who's been, who's the yeah. major player from China. Longkin. I call him Longkin. Yeah, um, they they make great engines. They do. They, they do. The problem with them is everything around the engine, the carburetor. The starter, the pull cord, all the bolts that rust. That that's that's the problem. But you know what? The Chinese will get it and give them another couple of years, and you'll see a really nice engine that unfortunately Briggs can't compete with. I'm sorry, but it's yeah, just right. the way it goes. The new yeah. E engines, eh? Yeah, yeah. But uh, so far. The, the carburetion and 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 the uh, the electronics or the electrics around it, it's still not. But it's, it's just a straight copy off Honda. Yeah, but it's you know there's softer and the, softer steel. Yeah, and and uh, non corrosive or corrosive material, you know. Yeah. And yeah, copper is not copper. There's different types, and uh, yeah, the the starter on a Longsin engine will burn out much faster than it will on an old Tecumseh or an old Briggs or an old Honda. It really will. Hey. Holy smokes. Royalty is here. Thank you. Yeah. How far are you? How many you got left to go, Mick? I'm going to check, you know. You know how you get dumped off a, a subscribe? I might just check right now to see if I have subscribed to you. Well, I just thought I'd come up firstly because Obviously, Bruce was sitting there, had, had no problem in Bruce throwing stones at me. So um, I thought I'd come on up and uh, give him some back. Okay. <laughs> Good. That that was the whole intention of throwing the stones. We all did that at the pre-stream meeting. Throw rocks at Mick, then he'll come up. He'll come up. Yeah, he'll come up. Mick, how, will, how is the patient post-surgery? Well, me or Bruce? Bruce, what did Bruce get done? <laughs> Well, I blew, my, I blew my back out. Lobotomy? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. There you go. But Bruce didn't have Tonka come around, so. I was jealous. I'm telling you, that Tonka, he's got big fingers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but it looked like you had enough Vaseline, so. And I'm, and I'm doing a giveaway on his wedding ring next week. <laughs> Wait, you, yeah, but you got to eat a little more things before you can come Ooh, out. That took a bit for me to get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to your channel right now, Mick. You should be subscribed, Bruce. I don't like think you are. Yeah, I it's, think I am too, right? Yeah, but you got to watch because YouTube. Has I've been, been booted cutting, out. They've been cutting subscriptions. You'll look back and you're like, what the heck's going on? You're not subscribed to certain channels. You're not getting reminders and things, you know? Yeah, it happens to me as well. Hmm. I'm subscribed. Everybody should check that, though. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you haven't gotten any, you know, ringing the if bell. If you guys don't tell Mick, I'm subscribed on both my channels. So it says here, 24.8K. Okay. I'm not. I'm not subscribed. I'm not subscribed to either yours now, so don't worry about it. <laughs> and close, you said we're going to be lucky if Mick comes up, eh? Yeah, and now we're lucky. Yeah. Look, look, yeah. Look, <laughs> you, you, look, you, you know what happens if you poke the bear, you get bit. It's as simple as yeah. that. That's just what happens. Yeah. You don't look as tired as you did last week. 
It's funny you say that because I was actually watching one of Hank's videos today. I look really tired after that. <laughs> hey, our friend Stella is actually driving a trolley today. I've got a parcel from Timu. Oh, hey, you guys. Is that uh, uh, Timu that you bought or Timu that uh, just came? Well, I've got this old boy. I've got this old boy called Hank. He's pretty cool. <laughs> and to be fair, I think he's actually a Timu sales rep in disguise. Because um, he, he, he made me buy one of these. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. a wall mount. A wall mount. Yeah. Love the action. Oh, that'll hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You had yeah. it upside down. Too bad, too bad that wasn't there when Conker came over. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Make it go. Pass, pass, there you go. Do not lubricate. Is that it. all you bought? Because see, Hank got your beat. He buys 27 things when he shops at Timo. <laughs> Hank has a little bit more time on his hands than anybody else. And money. <laughs> but but I got that for um I think Hank paid about Fifty dollars for yours, Hank, or sixty dollars? Fifty, yeah. Right. 50. 50. I paid um, forty-five pound. I got out for. Shipped or you got paid for shipping? Uh, it was about. Mm, it was a. It wasn't a lot of shipping. Kenny is about eight pound shipping, I think. Yeah, because it's like fifty-two here. That is way too cheap. My Oregon one cost a hundred and fifty. Oh yeah, they're. I've seen them up to two hundred bucks. It's nuts. And they're all the same. It looks like they're made in the same Wuhan factory. It's two bearings and a cone. Some are red, some are black. I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. What, what Bruce still uses the nail. Bruce has I got use, the I magic use, nail. I use a nail. Bruce has got the magic nail. Uh, we'll say, I mean, on, on, on decks where you have two or three blades mm -hmm. with, with smaller blades, you don't need that thing there. But when you've got big blades, that My 33 inch snapper, the single blade 33. I know Bruce just uses a nail, but if you think how drunk his vice is, it's not even level. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. The vice could be sideways. Can I quickly ask a question, Mick? What is that? Apart from it looks like a sex toy. <laughs> it's a sex toy. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not in that game. Hey, hold on. hey James, just sent me a picture of the rally. This, this is the rallies that we used to get here in Connecticut at a department store called Caldors and Bradleys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The old Briggs classics. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, the rally I had was it's a comfy on it. Electric start the whole bit. Yep. And if That's you bought it at a Caldor. It was green. If you bought it at a Bradley's, it was red. Red. Yeah, yeah. Mine came from uh, McLeod's or Home Hardware or something like that. Mm. That's when Bridge was know. making a good engine. Mm. Yep. Oh, you know, a, that's a, that's a knockoff of Do a magnetic. New, di a new diaphragm every 10 years. Do Whiskey I have costs? time to go get a beer before you start the you guess what it is? Yeah, no. okay. Bob's coming on board. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob, Bob. Uh, Bob, what's going on hey, in your Bob. shop, Bob? We're 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 sort of coming to the end of our tech area. So, you got anything to add to small engine this week, or what? He can't Good. hear us. Oh. Good. No. Nope. Bob. Just a quick notification. Mick is like thirteen. Uh, peop uh hang on, no. He is. What do you make? One moment. My screen went black. He is currently on 987 videos. Who's that, Mick? Mick is. So he's wow. almost at a thousand videos. Wow. Wow. More yeah. Did you think it, all it, the hours it, that took, Mick? It, it, just goes, it, it just goes to prove if you throw enough crap in the air, something's going to stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Words to live by. What's going on, Morton? Hey, Morton. What the hell? Who let that guy in? Hey, Morton. <laughs> What are you going That's to play the, basketball? What are you doing? It's it's a mixed mower fan number one. It looks, it looks like he's doing little Michael Jordan there. He's ready to ready to play. Oh, he's got the mixed shirt on. Oh, I tell you, I tell you something. You're oh, lucky. What a what a shameless plug. Oh my god. I tell you something. You're lucky you live over there, son. I tell you. Well, I thought you had a ring in your ear. <laughs> hey, here we go. Here's my buddy with the piston rings. 
I'm the piston ring guy. <laughs> yeah, we've been chatting. Uh oh. What do you well, this? Okay, Nick, you got me beat. Oh. Well, 987. Yeah. You got me beat, Nick. I think I'm at 855. I haven't got you beat, Bruce. I'll, I'll, Bruce, I'll always be following you, no matter what happens. All I do, like Bruce. Been, you know what? It seems like. Uh, oh, I won't say it. Cool. It seems like you've been 20K behind me all the way through this show. Well, that's because it's true. <laughs> the, 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 thing, the thing is, Bruce, is that all I do is I wait to put a video out, and the following week I'll do the same video. That's all I do. <laughs> I just do what you do. <laughs> I do what? I do what? I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Have, you ever, have you guys ever noticed that, though? Like, uh, if uh, you do a video, and then somebody, one of us guys, does the same week, Two days later, you or them does the same video again. Well, yeah. there are there are certain channels that do practice that practice. <clears throat> well, yeah. Where is Steve? Oh. <laughs> so, how's your car running? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, now, uh, can, can we get to the wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, in the distance, I hear a ball breaking. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> did you go get your beer, Klaus? Yeah, did you get your beer? What'd you get? I got the beer. What is it? Uh, get, get Califo it. California steam beer. Nice. Steam? Where they steam the hot It's a hot beer. beer. Ooh, it's uh, a hot beer. beer. No, it's not. Steam beer is because <laughs> back in the day when the Germans came over, they couldn't find a way to cool the beer fast. So they had big vats where the, where, the, where, where the beer could cool, and it would let off steam. They call it steam beer. How did how did they manage that? Because it only took the Germans to to invade the country. Entschuldigung. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Entschuldigung. Look, 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 don't start speaking that cheese language of me, son. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's good beer. It really is. I haven't had a beer for three and a half weeks. Are you sorry, Pete? Good man. Uh, good man Bruce. I mean, hey, beer man, never, I never Tommy heard anyone. Think you have more than that. I don't know what I'm going to do on my, on my uh, what I call it, my, what is that? After, oh, no, happy hour. I got happy hour on Wednesday, but I think I'll just get some of those fake beers and drink. Do they that. still have happy hours? Oh, yeah. Really? I don't see too many of them right Go on holidays. Go on, go on vacation with lots of Caucasian white guys, and yeah. uh, it's happy hour every day. Is there Caucasian black? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure they have happy hour, too, though. <laughs> Bruce, no, we used to go, years ago, there was a place in Bridgeport <laughs> called Fitzwillies, and we used to go there. Thursday night was the night that everybody can't be home. real. But but from four o'clock to seven o'clock, free finger food, you know, wings and mushrooms and just okay. We'd go there and you know, you'd have to drink unless you were drinking, you wouldn't get the free food. But like pizza and chicken wings and stuffed mushrooms and all that stuff. We'd be out of there, we're drunk and stuffed, and then we'd go home. <laughs> but the beers were eight bucks each back then. No, oh, back then, no, back then happy hour, dollar beer, yeah. you know, two dollar mixed drink. I mean, we'd be sloshed. When I when I became a yeah. drinking age, beer was twenty cents. Hey, Willie. Yeah. Can't even buy a Q-tip for twenty cents now. Mm. <laughs> I see. I was just talking about. I think you. it was probably when you. Steve. It was probably fifteen or ten cents when you started it. Eh? When I started a uh, glass of draft beer, when my dad when my dad would take me for a haircut, he'd stop for a beer. It was five cents. Right, nickel a glass of draft. Right. It was a wow. nickel schooner, and it was yeah. a frosted mug. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Well, I'm not as as old, but I remember quarter drafts. Now, yeah, now frosted go. mugs, nine bucks Canadian. A guy that I work with, <laughs> one of the guys I yeah. work with, always wanted to order a hundred draft in a juice, right? <laughs> and we, you know, how you have tomato juice in here or whatever, right? That one juice. We actually went and did that on his birthday. It was pretty fun. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Steve heard Klaus with his beer. That's what it was. Beer. Yeah. I don't think it cost twenty bucks. Five oh, so. You don't want to know what my beer costs because that is ridiculous. Well, you well did, we're you lucky you're older now. A beer run today. 
Yeah, yeah, I did a can't, beer run yesterday. Uh, can't remember the last time I bought beer. Yeah, well, I feel by yeah, my memory's that bad too. Mm. Drinking and driving a no no today. That's because you spent that's because you spent half your week drunk, Bruce. Not anymore, buddy. <laughs> that's a good Ste one. Okay, here's the old joke, right? Steady as a rock, but I shoot yeah. with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a doctor's joke. Steady as a rock, but I operate with this one. Yeah. Most <laughs> by alcoholics joke. So uh, Brock, uh, what's going on? Hey, how are you? You're, 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 you're late to the show, Brock. What's going on? Uh, yesterday was my birthday, so oh, happy oh, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Did you get anything good? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good birthday, then. There you go. You got a memory like mine. Oh, so the back must be feeling really good, then. Yeah, <laughs> just because yeah. you're on the bottom doesn't mean you're losing. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a good one. What'd you do for your birthday, anything? Uh, we went to a, a, a restaurant called Northwoods, really nice restaurant. Hmm. And, uh, it's like one Is of those good? restaurants where you only go once in a while because it's so expensive, you know. <laughs> what kind of food? Uh, steak and lobster. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Well, North, Northwoods the is that the one with, with snow on the on the roof? Yeah. Is that the yeah. one you're talking about? It was like a, <laughs> the European city or whatever looking place. <laughs> Did you get well, the red cabbage and the white cabbage uh, salad thing for the steaks? Yeah, it's, it's it's yeah, it's like a cabin feel in there. You yeah, know? yeah. What's the name yeah. of it? What is it? Northwoods. North, Northwoods Inn. Yeah. What town? Detroit or? Well, it's in. Uh, it's well, there's one up here. There's a couple of them. Yeah. Took four repairs to pay for that supper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying right. Hank is lazy, but Hank actually has a phone stand by his chair. Yeah, How do you know? <laughs> we can see it. <laughs> He's lazy. <laughs> son of a bitch. That's great. Hey Brock, is that the same one that's in uh, Indian River? Yeah, there's one there too. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. It looks nice. Looks really nice. Yeah. That's how great. Hey, no, wait, he said he said he went for a party. They're they're showing beds when I look at. So what the hell well, are you doing? Yeah, no, no, not that. Far. <laughs> <laughs> what birthday? This way, 40, 49, right? This oh, way, I only have to move is. my finger. Look at Hank. Look. Oh, was I ever close? Eh? <laughs> yeah. What? Now, did you have the steak and lobster, or what'd you have? Yeah, I had steak and lobster. Yep. Now, just nice. just just because I'm jealous, how much is a steak and lobster dinner? Up in well, it was sixty-five dollars each. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, but I guess sure. hey, once sure. mm -hmm. yeah. 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 that's probably about right. Bruce yeah. had forty percent to that for Canadian dollars. Well, you know what's really yeah. bad though. You got sixty-five dollars times two. That's one hundred thirty. And that's the bill is like right? two twelve. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was afraid to get the twenty-eight dollar salad. I was like, nah. I'll try <laughs> <that now."> <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. It's we, went, we went to a restaurant one time, and they gave you two bills: the food bill and the liquor bill. Mm -hmm. yeah. Inflation is big up? in your state, Brock. Yeah. <laughs> do you have to? Do you have to tip the waiter staff as well, or not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go. You just you just slip him something, you know. And yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody already slipped that one something because she. I'm was... gonna delete everybody. <laughs> was, that good or bad? Was, that, was that good or bad, Brock? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Maureen, send me a picture. You're not going put, there. It on your, uh, put it in front of you if you want. I don't care either way. Hey, did you go fishing? You had a boat out there on your video six days ago. Oh, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, tomorrow, too. Tomorrow. Can I just share my screen? So is the yeah, is the ice off all the lakes up there? Well, yeah. Um, the wind is the wind is really bad today, so we didn't go this morning. Oh yeah. I got up and everything, even yeah. with the little, you know. And uh, <laughs> I have what, some what, in-laws. Brain damage? What, what, what are you doing? Haircut. No, last <laughs> oh. night's nice party. Last night's nice party. Oh, last night's nice party. Right? Uh -huh. you know, all my in-laws were like, "What are you doing up?" I'm like, "We're going fishing." Yeah. And, they're they was not having it. They're like, no, no, go back to bed. You know, yeah. Morton, you get a share? Yeah. <clears throat> Just a second. Uh, Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Mick. Yep. Yeah. So how you been, Mick? You feeling better, brother? 
Oh, yeah, I, I, I was worse than Bruce. At one point, I was worse than Bruce, but I still managed to do something. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been laid up for a little while, but uh, been well looked after. And uh, you, I was down in shed you? yesterday. I did an engine transplant yesterday. Oh, nice. And what have you. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing a bit more than Bruce at the moment. Bruce is just dragging it out, obviously. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all right. then again, you've got, you got expert uh, help. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. A wood what? splitter. What's what's wrong? Wrong? What? I got such one in for a fix. So what's, what's, what's wrong? What's going on? Yeah, the the oh, pull like cable, is... the pull cable won't uh, won't roll back, and uh, oh, yeah. and it and it's searching. He's saying, oh, hunting. Yeah, yeah. It. So uh, and it's it's a Honda copy engine. Oh yeah, and. Uh, I think it's a little. Uh, it's it, it, it's going to get me in, in trouble because the the recall is uh, is not for sale anymore. <clears throat> I couldn't. You, I can't why it's it. broken? It's for you just just not a cord replacement. A, a what? You cool. just don't have to replace the pull cord. You've got to replace parts in the recoil as well. If, or? Yeah. If the if the if the if the recall spring is uh, is broken. Yeah. Well, can't you use a Honda one? Yeah, modern, modern, yeah, modern, I modern, so. yeah. modern, modern. Yeah. Just yeah. send me a close-up picture of the stuff you have. I may have something in stock. Yeah, I got five of them in the shed. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I've Where actually you, heated up and rebent the end on some of them. Yeah, yeah. You got to be careful. Yeah, that's, you can yeah, do. yeah. That's right. That I have that I have seen before, but you can't. This one you can't open. It's it's what you call it. It's uh, riveted. Oh, you you know um, unless it's spot welded you can open it modern modern say in danish they they uh they know they know need some with the water ah right yeah simple yeah, then no, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like the bridge in stratton you just so, drill the rivets so Martin, Martin, and you, use new you, rivets to put do you have in. a drill bits <clears throat> drill them out 330 seconds drill them will take those rivets out yeah, yeah, but on that picture that we saw, it looked like <clears> there's <throat> only three 10 millimeter nuts to take off, and the recoil comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you, can, you can't open the recoil. You can't open the recoil and and take it out. So you can 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 what do you call? No, you 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 can uh, inspect the 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 spring. So no, look. Morning. If someone put it on there, you can take yeah. it off. That's right. Otherwise, they couldn't have got the spring inside. Yeah. yeah but, how, do but, put, but, how do they put the spring in there? Someone yeah, put it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have they have put it together, but there's a pipe in the middle. They have wind that, so it's the the end of it. It's getting bigger, so you can't open it. It's it's like it's the old, old it's like it's like the old to come see. Uh, yeah, with that split have, pin yeah. in the middle, with yeah. that split pin. Yeah, just drift yeah, it out with it. Yeah, you, drive, you have to, you have to yeah. drive it out the right way though, because they're tapered. Yeah, you you right take way. your your label off the front, and you'll yeah. see it. Exactly. That's one thing. That's one thing I like about the old um, Decumsey recalls, Wayne, is that you had the pleasure of taking the sticker off first oh. and throwing that away. Well, they replaced it with a plastic bushing after the sticker. Okay. Yeah, yeah but but I have the I, I have a thought that, that I should change the coupler and the and the recoil with a Hunter one. I I don't know if it can it can be done, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it's. It's that way well, I'm gonna fix it. A lot a lot of them were a lot of them were sort of interchangeable. I have in the past not done a straight swap, but taken like a Honda recoil inners and put that on the existing bad problem. So you can chop and change, but I personally think you're just giving up too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's mm. right, Nick. Yeah. Well, so I quite I'm, often am. And my, my, my third and last Listen to your elders. Thing I'm here. gonna do Morton. is gonna get in touch with Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be your first mistake, getting it to Klaus with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mick, that's not a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll figure something. Modern, we'll figure something out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, I know. If you if you live by the logic, or some someone put it on there, then you can take it apart. You just need to be a bit brave and just take it apart, and see what bits you've got. But, but you know what? In, in, yeah. in normal circumstances, I completely agree with Mick. But sometimes the Chinese find ways of assembling things. Yeah, I, know. That, three, I bet you a 330 seconds drill bit will get you home. 
Yeah. Yeah. But but the, the problem is not getting it out. It's getting it back together. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but it, it just looked like it's a, it's a one it's a one user and and buy another one. So. Oh, it's yeah. the one with the rivets. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I drove those great, out and just no, re-rivet no, it. Sounds like yeah, a but, great stone. But it, it, it's not it's not the outside Brock, it's the insides. Oh, uh, oh the insides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's the pipe in the middle where it's where the spring, where the spring is. Martin, they, they, get a bigger they, hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but I right? It's wedged <laughs> over, it's about when but yeah, when 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 the Chinese copied the uh, Tecumseh design of a, a pull cord, they didn't quite get it all quite the get way. It. No, they didn't. <laughs> so, so they they stamp it all together. Go, okay, now it works, but we can't take it apart. So here you go. Uh, you have to buy a whole new pull cord, and mm -hmm. sometimes if, all, if all else fails, you can just take the recoil off and then just put a stuff of punch starting cup on the fly or a big bit of string, just put a piece of string. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sounds about right. But well, I've got about 10 or 15 different types of quartz assemblies and stuff, mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Are those used or are those new? If, mm -hmm. if, if you get really stuck, Klaus, just post it over it, I'll have it done for you. Thank you, Mick. Morton's pulling it off now for us to look at. I can hear him working. Yeah, but well, no, that, was his, no, 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 that, that was his sense of humor hitting the floor. That's pretty <laughs> late for you guys to be working on stuff. Ken, can you put can well, you know, you know, one second? Oh, guys, I'm going to run. I'm hungry. Good to chat to you all. See you, Simone. Thanks for coming up, Simone. Nice. No Good worries. Good luck with that welder. I'll, I'll hopefully get my video up fairly soon so you can all enjoy some seeing me do some more welding. Uh, yeah. 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 Bizarre. <laughs> See, more, more, just, just like my wife used to say, can you make it bigger? No. <laughs> Bye, guys. There it goes. Right. Oh, that's that non-serviceable one. Yeah, that's no, right. no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's serviceable. You just it's take the sticker expand. off the front of it and bash yeah. pin out. Yeah, it's an expanding <laughs> pin. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, It's easy, easy. Yeah, it's oh, easy. A swedge. Take the sticker yeah. off. A swedge. Yeah. I haven't heard that. Well, I never a did that before. Swedge. S W A G. Oh. The problem is when you put it back in, you got to make sure you don't drag it in too tight. Just remember yeah. the clothing he's wearing so that it adds to the intellect. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, just, yeah, just drift that out. Yeah. So you use a drift to drive it out. Drive it Stall. out. Um, don't lose the spring, and there's a plastic washer in there, too. Yeah. I think it's Teflon. Yep. You're locked up, Morton. I think Morton. Uh, he didn't pay his internet this one. He's froze. I guess. Uh, <laughs> So that's actually look, looking at that recall system there. That's actually the same recall that comes off of a um, Acrobat mold, Klaus. Okay, what engine is that? That's a Decumse. <laughs> um, Never Italian, did you see that before. Italian yeah, yeah. Um, Italian horizontal Espera. Oh, okay. Espera. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One yeah. Uh, one three eight. I just discovered something. The, the the spring ain't broke. Oh. It has, it has to, see, 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 see make make fixed it. There you they go. Tend to, they, tend to respond, they tend to respond quite well to a little bit of oil, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Like yeah. anything, if you if you've got a little tiny hole, just put a bit of oil in before you go in. Yeah, but it, 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 the spring is okay. I have to uh, I have to spin it around with the, but, yeah, I think it's the little feet, in. the little uh, dogs that stick out, eh? I yeah. have, I, I, I have easy fix. Hmm. Half easy fix. Yeah, what? the easy fix, oh, yeah. but easy fix, but crap internet. Good. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the spring could be catching where it makes you think the spring is good. So once you yeah. start rewinding it, if you hear, that's <laughs> it, that spring's no good. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, only, the, only bad part, the only bad part about, about those, Wayne, is obviously once you drift it out, sort it all out in, inside, you might have to just have to bend the, the end of the spring lobe over slightly. But it's, yeah. when you push it, it's when you push it back in, you go, you go too far, it sees up. 
Yeah. Oh. And what you can do also is um, to make sure it's pressed in, you can get your air chisel once it's in and just give it a little tiny wallop with the air chisel just to expand the inside part of the, of the pin just to open it up a touch so, so it holds it better. It make yeah. like... Right. Yeah, it's a the noise maker. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I love I'm it. telling you, my air chisel has saved me so much this week. It's not even. It's what it's what yeah. we call more. It's what we call an easy fix. That is. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Morton, no problem sending us, uh, you know, Morton's garage T-shirts out or anything you'd like. It's fine. We'll and none of that crap you like you're wearing now with the magic marker. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I get royalties wearing this. You don't get stuff all so Mick is, is Mick actually paying you? He doesn't pay. The <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. You know, in fact, he, he never sent me a T-shirt, so I, he, I don't he, know. He, he, he even spelt Moe's incorrectly. I was gonna say, Mick's Moe supports third world country. Look, 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 look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, let's get the uh, guess what. Oh, the, is. what is it? All right, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? All right. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I got Whoa. one. Hey, I got one on Hank. I hope. Hey, Mick, 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 Mick,
Ronaldo. <laughs> usually, you, usually it's Klaus giving it to you, yeah. but this time it was Morton. So. I got it. It's Morton dancing. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. All right. Let me see yeah. if I can get this. Thing here. Hold on, guys. Snappy. Let me, let me see if I can get this thing up. Here we go. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can share this. This is small engine related, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, it's any engine related, to be honest. It, it, uh, here we go. Present. To... Share screen. Share screen. Hold on. Window. And ready? I like guessing early because sometimes you get it. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. big enough? Cap Ooh, where have I heard that before? Yeah. Holy cow. Cap <laughs> <laughs> All right. Broken tap remover. Get the hell out of it. What? Yeah. What? Nope. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hank, yeah. do you have one of these? Oh, no, you know he does. I got a whole go set yeah. no. go <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next. Good job, Hank. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Good job, <laughs> Hank. <laughs> He's yeah. you he you came, he came Hank, on Hank. today. We're talking. He goes, he I'm right? going to get Good him. Job, I'm going to get Hank. <laughs> yeah. Hank, uh, you're the Hank, nice. you're the man. You're the I man. Only, I only stick the taps in and break them off. I don't have a remover. Uh. <laughs> Hank, you're the man. I bow. I really do. <laughs> I am not worthy. That, wait, that's yeah, gotta I, be. I, I am, gotta I am be definitely record. not worthy. That has to be a record. For what is it? That is a record. Oh, well, you know what? Years ago, you know, I had somebody put fat. up a bottom shot of the CN tower, and I got it right away. No. Oh, can you can, yeah. can you show the whole tool so that? You know, look at look at maybe yeah, a hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah but I uh, but Hank beat him by like a minute. <laughs> uh, uh, that was good. That was a good one. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't so, believe it, Hank. You ruined no. it. <laughs> no, he didn't. He, he made his fun. Yeah. Uh, the, only, uh, the, the only time in the entire stream Hank's opened his mouth and he does that. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, you still like him though. Yeah. Well, you might. <laughs> oh, oh! I can't just I... know if if you want to talk, just say the right words. I <laughs> figured we go for a few minutes at least. We didn't even get a few minutes out of it. No, uh, waited long go. enough. I know, man. Hold on, here we go. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got a whole set of them. That's a very smart tool, actually. Yeah. yeah. It is. The ones, I, I didn't well, breaking off those three. The, three. the ones that we have at work, instead of having three fixed pieces those. or four, we have rods, different diameters that we set for the different size taps with a, um, a shield that goes over it so you can set the depth of the stick out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got the awesome. ones also that have little... Uh, Oh, shut print. up. All right, you made your point to push it. All right, you're done. Right. Damn it. Smart ass. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I could make that. I don't think I could use it. I have to get too good a steel. Unbelievable. So yeah, how I'm many gonna... How many on the panel have broken a tap? Well, how many haven't? No, yeah. I haven't. Me? Oh, man. You're lucky. Yeah. I break them when I stick them I, in a I, 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 even, I even broke one yeah. in, in aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't do that's that. Not I don't even. Need to that's that. sad. That's really sad. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, but at work we have we have the know. tap removers, but we also have the uh, EDM, the electrical sparkers, to remove yeah. the taps too. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, my yeah, wife got me one of those. Uh, uh, for my birthday, my wife got me one of those screens where you stick the probe down in there, and you can see. And the yeah, scope. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's the one that curls or has a yeah, it's got a big long cord on it. Is that for small, small engine or for personal use? <laughs> small engine. It has three or four. Well, no, because the doctors would always use endoscopes, you know, for your throat yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, do, 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 do. I Thanks like it. I, I already it's tried it on the Honda that I'm working on. And it it, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I Is never that had one from one. the yard. Is that one from the yard? It's, it's, 
<laughs> it's like one from uh, Amazon that she got me. Yeah, but your Honda, did it come from the yard? Oh, yeah. 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 There's two of them. I don't want to give it away, but I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm going to call it Frank and Honda, my next video. A video, a, a video coming soon. Video coming soon. Yeah. There you go. It's press oil, yep. Yeah, press oil. I asked my dealer one time. I said, "You got any press oil?" He goes, "Use oil." Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but if it's on, yeah. Say, say again. What what is it designed for? For like lubricating, pulling coils and cables and wires. <laughs> Even putting in a grommet. You know, yeah. Personal yeah. appendages. So, so, you know, whatever. You know, I do have some so, so, uh, wire pull. Uh, yeah, the blue liquid. They have the blue crap that you use for pulling wires. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but it it acts just like anti seize, you know. It's uh, there. Yeah. yeah, we used to use yellow seventy seven. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, yep. yeah, yeah, that's I, professional. I, I, I use silicone spray. That's the company cool. bought it, Brock. Not me. <laughs> yeah, Bruce I, doesn't have any at home from the company. He bought no, it no, yeah, I, yeah. no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I even, I even yeah, ran out of tire. You, you see the yellow seventy seven at Home Depot now. They have it all the time. Yeah. 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 But the blue, it's the blue guck you, you pull. But, but, what what is it? Is it a silicone based product or what? What is it? It won't oh. deteriorate wire insulation. I know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In the sleeve. Like, it's so oh, look at Conquer. Conduit. Dirty, dirty bastard. In the conduit. Hey, I really enjoyed that video the other day on Mix Channel when Conquer came over the house. Yeah. It was Dr. Conquer. Really cool. I was I really scared. I, 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 I was really I scared just, for Mick there. I really was. I just, I just don't know why. I let that idiot in my house. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. I mean, it's, 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 like one those, it's one of those occasions you open the door, <laughs> you open the door and you think, oh, I wish I never opened that bloody door. Well, how did the views do on that video, Mick? Did they go up? Did I, they go down? Wayne, but you Wayne, can blame you, it on Conquer, I guess. Wayne, you know me. I'm not here for the views. I'm just here because my personality shines through. <laughs> Something shines. Yeah. Wait, Kenny. <laughs> oh, where are you at? What's the number? At? Did it go up at all? <laughs> it's always, it's always fun when Conquer comes to play. It's always, fun. oh yeah, yeah. And, it's all, and it's always oh, good to yeah. see. Him. It is. Oh yeah, AB Mouse. Yeah. I was, I was kind of hoping that Bruce might fly over, considering he's got bags of money, can spend nine months in Mexico. You think Bruce would come over to see me, wouldn't you? But no. Hey, Erica, okay. how much, is, how much is that press fluid? It used to be around five dollars a bottle here. You know what? It, it's it, you know, guys. So when you, you put on rub, when you put, when you put on rubber handles, when you put no, on she rubber stops work at twelve o'clock on Saturday. When you put on rubber handles on, say, a, a bike, uh, mm -hmm. the, the steering. I, I use. Uh, it's gonna sound funny, but it, it's the stuff that girls put in their hair to stiff it up. It, it's a spray. Well, like oh, a uh, hairspray. No, 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 no. Don't know what you're talking about, Mick and I have no idea what you're talking no, about. No, no. It's a, hair, it's a hairspray <laughs> because it dissipates yeah, after uh, you. Uh, yeah. 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 They, they, have, they have spray for hair? Is, it, is this new? Yeah. Mick, you, you can <laughs> use it in the nether regions, Mick. There's nothing there. Hey, we're not after two hours yet. you got to be careful. Oh, so Mick, the wood floor matches the other one, right? Yeah, I just get my, I just do, I do what you did, Ken. Just get the map gas out. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, the, oh, the floor matches the drapes, is there? Well, it, it was a wooden floor, no, no rug, no carpet. I better look into this new oil. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the other day, Mick, after you got sick and you went on, you had a little bit of hair going on there. It looked like you had a little GI Joe. Well, that, 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 that's Joe. because I, I was, I was laid up in bed and I was like that. Ah, I was very poorly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you look better today. I feel better, Bruce, just for seeing you, buddy. Just for seeing you. Oh, not so much nice Wayne. That, not so much nice. Wayne, but better seeing you. Hold on. Somebody, hold on, Brett. Someone else is in the bay. Oh, Brett, hold on one second. I got to bring up uh, Dr. Conker. Oh, hey, Dr. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Doctor Conquer. Good on, evening. Doctor? Where's your bucket at, Conk? Where's your bucket good, in here? Good evening. Bent over. He's a, <laughs> he's about as qualified as a doctor as Howell Shipman was. <clears throat> <laughs> Who? 
Smell that, mate. Mick. Smell Must that. Must be British humor. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd everything come out, Doc? Well, lumpy. <laughs> it's lovely, Lewis. Lumpy. Lumpy. And, and lumpy. Oh, my God. A, a little bit of, with a little bit of blood. It has to but be. Those ain't mashed potatoes, huh? Jesus. He doesn't make a fuss. He screamed like a girl. You know, we're not up to two hours yet, you guys. Don't tell Conker. the guys. You know. Conker, you had a studded bracelet on for Christ's sake. Over and I'm not around. <laughs> that wasn't me that wasn't me bracelet, mate. That was me belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear oh dear. Good evening, gentlemen. I hope you're all well, all right. as, as we are. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, there we go. Phil, so, when's, the, when's the next cruise? Um, in uh, it's about three weeks' time, two weeks' time. Holy shit. Now, where are you going? Portugal? Or <laughs> uh, yeah, Portugal, I think, and somewhere else. We're going on is the that... Queen Anne maiden voyage. Oh, really? hmm. that, is that a one-way ticket? Hong Kong, we coming back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I want to go home. I, I think Con Conker one time he was in Spain and him and Andy were at some little cafe and he's half in the bag. He's like, Oh, mate, what's going on, mate? And <laughs> like, yeah, I try to stay in contact with you guys, you, you know. Do, though. You do, you absolutely do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Any, uh, Jungle Bob says Studios Four. Uh, now it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's when what, no what normally happens is Conker will go on a cruise. And then I get a FaceTime around about sort of half past three in the afternoon and Conker is absolutely sloshed in a high street <laughs> pub somewhere. And he's like, hello, mate. Just, I just show you where I am. And he, he, he's showing me, but what he doesn't realise is the camera's pointing towards him. And all I get is a close-up of his face like that. He's trying to, oh, here's the dock. Here's the wood. All I get is that, you mug. Oh, the truth exactly. of the matter is, of course, he's right. But there we go. It's... Um... It's, oh, coffee does have that effect on me, to be fair, because I don't drink alcohol, as you know. Yeah, Irish coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's ah, good. We have a bit of fun. We've we've only got four this year, and we're booked up to now in twenty twenty six. We just booked as well. Perfect, mind you, mind you, I've got to get there. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to make plans, and then you will. You got to make plans. Absolutely right. Yeah. But, uh, where where, where have you got to get to then? Well, live that long, mate. You've got to be alive live. that long. Oh, well, you'll be all right. Can't cross it. If Hank can do it, you can do it. Bloody hell. <laughs> Hank doesn't go on cruises. Hank don't go anywhere. No, exactly. Oh. Well, he went to see his buddy. I saw that. I think that was actually a green screen, to be fair. <laughs> a a AI, AI stuff. Yeah. I've just um, put an, an artificial Elko. insemination. <laughs> I've just put an Elko a mower back together after having it all powder coated stuff. It's all back together. Went to put the drive belt on. It won't go in the bloody hole. <laughs> got it. I got to take the what? bloody transmission what? back out again. Back if you if you if you if you want to speak to Morton about that, he's he, he's got some really hard problems at the moment. He can't solve. Maybe between the two of you. You can fix <laughs> if I can help, you know, I'd be more than happy to do so, my friend, as long as it doesn't include money. <laughs> so okay. has anybody uh, mowed their lawn for the first time yet? Yeah, yeah. I um, I mowed my lawn. I mowed my lawn whilst I was absolutely on my back recovering. I managed, I said to the wife, don't worry, I'll get the lawn cut. I'll get it done for you today, sweetheart. She said, you don't have to. You're not well. I said, no, I'll do it. Yeah, you've got, got, you got, you got, 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 right? got, got my phone out and put, put my robotic lawnmower out to mow, and off it went. Exactly. Hey! Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Hey, Jamie. 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 Hey, Mick, how are you today? I'm on top form today, buddy. I'm on top form. Nah, I can tell. Especially after Conquer stopped by, huh? They, they, they invited me up here, mate. It's their own fault. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a funny video, though. I had, I got to admit, that was a cool video. Yeah. It's always it's always funny when it involves my arsehole, John. 
<laughs> no, I wasn't saying that. Fifteen Just minutes, the, guys. The as, antics. As always, John, if you want any Instagram photographs, I can send them over to you. What I would I'm, say to John I'm is, good, thanks. John, what I would say no to you, John, it was not smell of vision. I'll say no more. Yes, though. thank God it wasn't. Conquer, you told me it, it was scratch and sniff. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I didn't remember eating that. Oh, bloody hell, what was that? Let's see. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. Bit of Howdy, Francis and John Rhodes. How are y'all? Uh, you did have a nice family day. Yes, I did, Rick. Yeah, with a lovely day. What was that with Riley last week at Poulton's Park? Yeah, it was a lovely day. Yeah, lovely. Is that an amusement park or just a theme or what is it? It's, a, it's an amusement park, but it's mainly for the lit leagues because Riley's got additional needs. It's perfect for him because the rides aren't too far. Despite the fact I did chuck him on a roller coaster and he did scream all the way around, but he did manage it. Okay. Did he scream? Yeah, he was scared. From us, it's about half an hour away, maximum, from where I live. So it's um, yeah, yeah it's we, about it's, yeah. it's about forty minutes for me. But when he was waiting in the roller, me and Josh, it wasn't my fault. Josh pushed him on it, and uh, all the way around in the queue, we had to wait about half an hour. He was trumping. He was proper nervous, and I was like, "Cough it <laughs> down, windy, you boys." And uh, he went on there, but yeah, he, he did all right. He did. He liked it, it can make for an exciting yeah. evening the next night because he won't sleep. Or day or yeah. whatever he's doing. Well, to, to, to be fair, Bruce, you don't sleep anyway, so that's not a problem for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking, no, it's speaking of not yeah. sleeping, we have our little three-year-old Hazley the Hurricane coming over tonight to sleep. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, can't, can't beat having a little Tasmanian devil in the household. Mick didn't like hmm. paying that $50 bill for one burger, huh? I'll tell you about <laughs> <what, what, laughs> it. Hold up, hold up. It wasn't £50. It was... Three chicken burgers, a beef burger, two coffees and two cokes, and a nugget mm. and chips for Riley. That's it was 80, 87 quid. 87 yeah. quid. Yeah. That's how I get you up some burgers to, to help you out, mate, when I came over. I was going to get well, some of it, the Wrangler if it, wasn't for, if it wasn't for the fact I'm not earning £7,000 a week off of YouTube, I'd have to complain about it. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, what do you think you are, Bruce? Come on. Hey. What's oh, up? Wait, Steve. Steve, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm right look, down. I'm low. They look a lot alike. Wait, <laughs> oh, hey, John. What? You pardon? can't put a you can't put a you can't put a price on happiness. And if it, if it makes Riley Boy happy, then we'll pay whatever needs need, need to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, John, tornadoes just missed you. Yeah, we uh we got lucky on that one the other day. Yeah, they, far, are, they were north and south of us. Yeah. Ooh. How long does that tornado season last for, guys? How long does it last for? <laughs> 12 months. Year round. 12 months. <laughs> oh, wow. Whenever the bad weather comes in and the conditions are right, they're going to spin up. Yeah. And that's all the, all the year long, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 12 months all uh, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tw tw 12 months is generally a year, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same over on this side of the pond, uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hank, Hank can, we just, can we just confirm, Hank? Because obviously I've got one of those new spark checkers, uh, which, you, which, which you put me onto. I don't know if you guys realise, but in the video I did the other day with Conker, he was on about do you need a spark? Do you need to apply the spark checker before or after the engine's running? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, your, on your point. <laughs> that's like, do you put the air in the tire while it's spinning or before? Yeah. <laughs> I think he meant pulling the rope. No, he didn't. <laughs> he meant it. <laughs> I, I'm, you want, you I'm, want a rebuttal there, Hank, or what? I'm, sa I'm yeah. saying nothing. I'm pleading the Ninth Amendment or, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> That's, whatever. Good. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, like Mike <laughs> says, why would you need to check the spark if it's running? <laughs> <laughs> it makes content. It's called, it's, it's called a video. <laughs> You see some of the other stupid stuff I can say. I'll tell you what, mate. I, I actually can't... thought about it. So there you go. No, but I think the question, the question was actually, do you put it on while it's running or not running? And I think, honestly, the person meant, will it still glow if you attach it to a running engine versus not? I think that was the, yeah. the gist of the comment. Not, I'm an idiot. Duh, <laughs> when you put it on. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. The check's on the way, mate. The check's on the way. Hey, Make Sue. sure it's in U.S. dollars, not pounds. Hey, Sue. But you can still have a weak spark. Hey, Sue. How you doing, Oh, definitely, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Sue. 
Let's nice see your clothes on, Sue, for a change. Oh, 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 He's yeah. never got over. It. He's never got over it, guys. He has oh, never. Guys. He, he's got it saved on his camera. Yeah, Brett, proper. we'll see you on Arches tonight if you're on Arches. <clears throat> we'll see you over there. See you, Brett. Tell me, yeah, Brett. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate you. Yeah. See anyone Brett. who wants a, fu a fun video, go on Arches at night. He usually has a lot of fun on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy, oh, yeah. Big UFC tonight. Three hundred. Three hundred what? UFC yeah. three hundred. <laughs> Big UFC fights tonight. What's three hundred mean? That means it's that? their 300th pay-per-view yeah. event. Oh, no. you pay to watch that? Uh, I can't say it would be illegal to tell everybody uh, on YouTube that I stream it for free. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable! That's the only way to Just go. Like, like I don't know how many other millions Such of people do around the world. Stick it to the man, Wayne. You would see the man. Really what they say, not. hey. No inflation here in Canada. <laughs> That's why everybody gets the VPN. It's like, where do you watch you it? In Thailand. You should be saying that with a five, five in the panel. I think I think the pay per view now is like uh, ninety to a hundred dollars US. Yeah. How? Yeah, but each fight. But no, no, for the for the whole show <laughs> tonight, starting I think it starts at seven and it'll end at one thirty two in the morning. Just yeah, but just for one program. Uh yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Um, now, that's, like a, think, that's like a year's worth of internet. I think in the UK, that. I don't think, I think you could uh, get it for free in the UK. I don't think you have to pay per view. Well, it's North America is the pay per view. There's, yeah. I've heard that Brazil, etc., et it, it, they don't have to have pay per view over there. That's crazy. But don't know All too right, much later, about Brett. that. So if you're from Brazil, hit me up. Okay, Wayne. Well, we're watching and I'll send it over to you, mate. Yeah, okay, Conk. Just, I appreciate just, that. Yeah, Conk, just tell them who wins or loses first. That's all. Oh, yeah. Lord, Lord. Would you hate you know, that? I hate that. I was, the Grand Prix, I oh. went to watch it last, was it last Sunday? I can't remember. Yeah, it's I stayed away from the news and stuff, and turned on Facebook, and some prat said, well done, Max Verstappen. Honestly, God, what's wrong with these bloody people? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But, hey, but, did it, but now that, still, now that, Monk, I still think this year is going to be crap. Next year, it's going to be a little more interesting. Why is that? <laughs> it needs to be, mate. I it don't, needs to be. What are they changing? I know, I, drivers. Oh. Hey, yeah, speaking speaking of interesting things, did anyone catch the eclipse this week? Yeah. Yeah. I want to see what's going on. You guys yeah, didn't mind too, but I, it's only a third of the sun was out. Yeah, I saw, we were you guys were the only one who had it. We, we didn't see squad over here. No, I saw did, it I, did I send I you a video of it, class? I saw it when Conker got the bucket out, and it was my I turn. Did. I, so. <laughs> no, I tried on. to watch it, all went blank. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you I'll send the video after the eclipse. <laughs> Good one. I, I, I've seen so many videos of the eclipse. Uh, you hadn't seen this one yet. This is a, a perfect example of how the eclipse should look. John sent me a picture of the moon right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good it, moon. It is that's perfect. It, it is perfect. Now, I think I sent it to Ken and to Mr. Henry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, Klaus, well, you can... I, I get left out as always. Yeah, I know that. Well, uh -oh. Uh -oh. At the time of day it was, I figured you were asleep. I just deleted mine. It was so bad. I just keep WhatsApp on silent when I sleep. I know. know. There it is. Oh! <laughs> oh, I got to delete the stream now. Who the hell sent me? Oh, I got to delete the I'm going to lose your channel. Uh, You're going to lose your channel. Clem, I forgot you sent me son of a... Uh, I figured you watched the other day, not just now. No, I didn't. That's why I'm like, what the hell? Oh, man. Uh, hey, Ken, there goes your channel, mate. I'm getting demonetized after this. It was, it was very, very short. I don't think anybody even noticed how hairy it was. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll now we're going to lose Mary what? with engines now. I can't well, believe I didn't you. see that. Son of a, uh, That's the new cover for. I just figured you didn't like it. You never did reply to it. No, so I'm looking at me. What the hell is that? Jesus. 
Yeah, and you have the nerve to say to me about keeping your stream clean, Kenny. You got yeah, but Mick, you got Mick, pictures. Yeah, but Mick, you'll send me a copy of you going to the bathroom, so don't talk yeah. about it, all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a photograph for you this morning on the Danny. That's all right. I, I, at least I silenced it when I flushed the toilet. Oh, you did man. not. You did not. <laughs> Wait, John, did you send me another one? You sent me a picture of the guy with the glasses. Oh, oh, let me look. And then he sent me a picture of the Dewalt toilet. Texture, what's up? Right, I'm going to go, gents, because it's um, it's my turn to get tied up tonight. I don't want to miss it. The Dewalt toilet. <laughs> Take care, man. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Wayne, Erica's asking. See you, mate. Say hi to Dana and uh, Riley, too. Yeah. Oh, He's gone. Where's Wayne? Wayne? Wayne, is the shop getting busy? Is the shop? Yeah, we're busy all year. Yeah, Jake, Jake, Jake is Jake is very busy. Jake, Jake's working on his Mustang every Saturday. We're Jake's Sunday. Very busy. Yeah, but wait, yeah. how, how far important. are you from That's America? That's important. You got to get away from uh, here. I'm not too sure how far Kingston is. I think they're in the Kingston area. She they had said when they when we uh, commented. Yeah. So it's not that far. Like I like we could take a, a day yeah. trip up there one time and, and yeah. see them. I'll get a hold Two of them. Two hours or something. If I still have my driver's license, right, Hank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, wait. How, how old are you when you have to take that first test? I don't know. I, I don't know <laughs> if you're. I've seen people out there driving around that should be off the road. They're in their eighties and they shouldn't even have a license. Wait, right. how far are you? How far are you from Granby? Are you anywhere near from Granby? Granby. Yeah, come back. All I can tell you is from oh, like Toronto, I'm about 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour, depending upon where I go. How far is Quebec? He's southeast of Toronto. That's a long ways. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's likely. It's likely. Uh, Kingston's likely. I don't know, two and a half hours. I, I think Eric is trying guessing. to come up. Hold on. Oh, I think hold on. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 There we go. Let's Welcome. Go Hi, What's your language, gentlemen? Should get a higher chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's see what we can see. Hold on. There, there she is. is. There you go. There she is. Hi, right. Hi, or as they say in Great Britain, hello, love. <laughs> the star of Married with Engines. There you go. Yeah. What are you up to now, Eric? About 8,000? You guys are doing phenomenal. Yeah, that's crazy. They've been doing phenomenal since she started doing the videos. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did Erica, you carry out er 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 Erica, Erica, can you hear us? Can you hear wave, us, Erica? Because we can't hear anything. Wave if you can hear us. Wait, yeah. Can you hear us? Nope. I can, I can hear you. Oh, okay. okay there you go. Good. Okay, we can hear you, too. I want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, she just wants to know if she wants to participate. That's what this is. That's all right. <laughs> After seeing that video. Wait, when, you have, turn off your YouTube. when you have 10 people up here, it's hard to see people. That's turn right. off your YouTube yeah. volume. That helps a bit. Yeah. So is yeah, your husband that started doing the videos, and now you took over, right? <laughs> Erica, uh, <laughs> take your camera and flip it down a bit so we can see your face. Oh, there's Tyler. Oh, oh here comes there you go. Tyler. Tyler. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. You're on with, the, you're on with all those small engine nuts. <laughs> nuts is right. Uh, yeah, nuts. Can you, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm kind of shy. Believe it or not, I'm kind of shy. Yeah, now in an hour and 30 minute videos. Come on. All of us goofballs are. We just pretend we're not. Yeah. Right. Don't worry. Just, don't worry. We, it's only us 10 people. Don't worry. That's not uh, yeah, 200. Nobody people. watches my channel. Oh, no, no, nobody's watching. Erica, so, Erica, where are Erica, you located? Erica, can you chill, tilt your camera a bit so we can see your face? Because it, it's. I got to move more. my. I just got to ask one thing, Erica. Is there anything yep. steel that you don't have? Um, Cut off soft stuff. We don't like those. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Uh, we don't really work on cutoff saws. Yeah. But, oh, I uh, hate. Them. I hate cleaning them. Everybody yeah. hates those. It's not our thing. We let the battlefields and United Rentals do that. Yeah. What's your main brand? So just Echo Steel, Ooh. or what are your main brands? So um, we're Echo. But uh, mainly, so Steel and Cub Cadet are our two big things. Cub Cadet, so you're MTD? We are great. Stanley Black & Decker, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, but yeah, we've been selling Cub Cadet since 2017, and we have really good luck with them, and they are a good company to work with. Really? So, like, for parts, for, for warranty, for... 
just tech support. They're really good. Has it changed though? Because my dealer, they gave up MTD because they said they weren't getting the support. Has it changed with the Stanley buy? Um, down at our level, not really. But I don't know if there's much difference between the Canadian and American. Yeah. I don't know if there's. Um, I know here, my rep and where I call into Kitchener, Ontario, we have we have great support from them. Um, if we Are have you, any issues like warranty, I can't. Uh, do you see a lot of warranty from them with the the tractors or anything? I've heard there's there's issues lately with MTD or with the um, cup cadet tractors. She has to be nice. Yeah, for the amount of stuff that we sell, um, like. I probably sell two or 300 ride on mowers a year. Holy so God. the amount that comes Jeez. that I see issues with is very, very small compared to how much goes oh, out of here. Oh. Um, hey, you guys are huge then compared to the good people. customers that look yeah. after their stuff. Yeah, wow. we no, are. What, we are. I, I think like in Ontario, well, Canada, I don't know. Are we in the, yeah. we're like in probably the top 20 in Canada. We're somewhere up there in sales wise. Holy like God. we do sell a lot of stuff. Um, What's your turnaround time? On repairs, um, busiest the busiest time probably I've seen us three weeks out. Yeah, um, I see locally our Cub Cadet dealer. He's like in the summer. He's two to three months. Yeah, yeah, we, same thing around we've here. Never, yeah. We've never went there. Um, right now, I have well, I have a driver out here right now bringing stuff in. There's probably 30 machines outside my door. I saw that on your last video. Yeah. Yeah, so you were saying you stuff, but we um a lot of a lot of stuff is here. Like we have a lot of customers who bring their stuff in every spring for just like straight services. Yeah, so, nice. You know, we can get a lot of them through a day if yeah. there's a few of us in here working. Um, but uh yeah, when it starts piling up, we just start working longer until we we try it we don't like going above three weeks out yeah it starts to upset people but let me how ask many, uh, your videos many? lately i see Insane. your videos lately. you are concentrating on the two strokes do you like two strokes better than working on like tractors and things or does terry do more tractors or how does that work um so tyler or tyler, my husband's I'm sorry, name is tyler. I'm sorry. no it's okay he gets called all sorts of things terry's one of them <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah the i like I like working on everything, but I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to work on what I, it looks like people are interested in. And lately it seems the chainsaw thing is, seems to be people are interested. So that's why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I might, I might do a push more or something and just, and just see, you know. Well, if you walked in the shop and had a choice, what would you work on? Well, I, I do like working on the two stroke actually. Um, so pr probably chainsaws. I don't really... Actually, I don't really like trimmers, but I like chainsaws. Now, do you guys turn down the cheaper stuff, the Poulons and the Max and the cheaper stuff? Right, the so, entire um, junk. <laughs> so for, for two stroke. Um, yeah, if, if someone brings in a cheap chainsaw, a Craftsman, yeah. old Poulon or MTD. Reed eater. So yeah, Craftsman's, Ryobi's, Poulans. Yeah. The only thing I would take those in for is a chain sharpening, okay. um, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Good girl. Um, other than that, yeah. steel, Echo. Husqvarna, like higher end Husqvarnas. I don't, but, yeah. Um, okay, you're not a dealer for Husqvarna, so you'd have to I, get the parts like everybody else or what? Yeah, I, I can get some stuff, but I'm not a Husqvarna dealer. And so when it comes to like the auto tune saws, yep. I don't really touch them either. I just, like there's Husqvarna dealers around me. Yep. And yep. so I'll recommend they just, they take them to the, to the dealer. Hey, does, does Echo have uh, like an Mtronic or an electronic version? Echo? They don't, no. Okay. Guys, I gotta go. I'm out. Hey, Take care, Phil. Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, Erica, hey. where do you get your zero zero grease for from? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I can't. I've had stuff on back order from Oregon for it's almost a year. And is, do we get from zero 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 grease for snowblowers? Yeah. For snowblowers, I think we get it from MTD. I'm just asking. Tyler's just looking here. I can't find. It. That's where ours is on order. <laughs> Neither can we. <laughs> I can't get any zero zero grease any place here in Canada. 
And I'm down well, to my last 16 ounces. Them, so, Eric, if you want to make, make a friend, you can ship him a case of uh, double zero. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon's getting a little hot. Yeah, I've noticed lately Oregon, st certain stuff I used to get from them, they're starting to discontinue certain things. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah. Um, well, you know what that sign is going to be. There's less selection on chain. <clears throat> if you ever want to get Huff's Navarna parts, have you ever dealt with Canada Power Tech, CPT? I am I am um, signed up with Canada Power Tech. And yeah. Husky parts, ESF. we get from ESF out of Quebec. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's where most of our stuff, if I need something Husky power source, Canada sells a bit of Husky stuff too, mm -hmm. but, yeah. um, ESF has a better Husky selection. How fast can you get steel parts? Cause we have an actual warehouse one town over. I can literally get parts in a day. How long does it take you to get parts? So we have a warehouse here in London, Ontario. And if I order early enough, like if I ordered Monday morning, They'd be here Tuesday afternoon. Oh, how Same far order are you out of town? Can I ask a question? Oh, sorry. How far, how far are you out of town? Because that guys who deliver don't really like to drive out of town that much. So there's a main artery that runs through here called the 401. Oh, yeah. We are 10 minutes north of the 401. So not, not far from, Okay. I mean, a little bit out of civilization, but not too far. Just right, eh? <laughs> Just right, Yeah. yeah. We don't get like, we're, we're in the country, so we don't get like the walk-in business. We're a destination. If you, you have to want to come here for something to come here. Right. So. Um, well, it looks like it's working. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, looking at your videos, your, your shop and everything is built on your homestead, right? It's all one big area. Yeah. So this is an old dairy farm. Oh, okay. And this shop we're in was a milking barn. And. So our office and showroom used to be the milk house. That's where the, the tank and everything would have been. And the back of the, it's kind of hard to see here, but um, where I'm sit, I'm sitting where this used to be like the tie stalls right here. And we've just. Oh yeah. You see the ducking and everything. See the, see the um, like the concrete cut out in the floor yeah. there. Yep, yep. So I'm sitting right where cows would have stood. Yeah. And so we just cut the piping out. Took some of the concrete out and um, moved in. Now you do full farming there. I thought chickens and other things. And I, I keep chickens. I raise lang birds, meat birds, and we grow uh, too big of a garden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but up there, I know Brucey. What's your garden season, Bruce? Three months. Uh, three months with a two shoulder seasons. <clears throat> but don't forget. I'm all, I'm just north of Montana, right? So it's I'm yeah. Yeah, 300 right miles there. north of you guys. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, we but, kind of I can plant out here like tomatoes. Not really safe until early June. They say May two four weekend, but I've no. I've planted many times May two four weekend, and then frost has come in and taken yeah. everything out. Wow. Yeah, so, you got to wait till the first week of June. I, wait I do until May twenty fourth, and I cover. Yep, and then. We're our first frost. We usually see sometimes early mid October. We're, we're in the middle of September for our first frost. Yeah. Yeah. Here in Michigan, we do a uh, Mother's Day after Mother's Day. That'd be oh, a yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Erica, the channel's exploding. I mean, I, you guys are going phenomenal. Unreal. Really nice. Yeah, I woke up one morning like six weeks ago and I said, "Let's make a YouTube channel." Really? You're, mon <laughs> you're monetized. I hope. Yeah, like we're already doing this, so I we just yeah. decided to turn the camera on and just film what we're already doing. Yeah. So it has, I mean, filming. You guys know, yeah. the filming and the yeah. editing, um, oh, yeah. the rough. amount of work it adds. So I have, <laughs> I can have <laughs> on. There so are, we're we're John Clem has two videos. <laughs> That's two more than I used to have. The best two videos on YouTube, according yeah. to John. No, I have a three sixty two chainsaw on my bench right now and it's been there since what three days ago <laughs> like i spent the whole day today just trying to put an air filter on it because we were open this morning and um anyways we have to be closed to film yeah yeah, so, yeah now do you guys have like counter sales and things where people come in and look for parts and things oh yeah oh, yeah. yeah we have so we have a a showroom which we have the still display in 
and then we have like a parts counter set up. So people walk in here to buy parts, ask questions, pay for lawnmowers, drop stuff off for service, pick stuff up after it's been serviced. So the front door of this place, like this morning, we were open from nine till noon. I don't know how many people were here. There's a lot of people this morning. It was busy. Um, day, a day off for them, right? Yeah. So yeah. Some, someone has to, someone has to staff the front of this place all the time. And I've done it for the last 10 years, but we've hired someone now yeah. to stay out there so that I can stay Get back here. Yeah. Now, do you Very guys cool. deliver too, or is it all pickup stuff? We do pickup and delivery. So I have a driver here right now. He's been running since seven o'clock this morning and we be lucky to be done by seven o'clock tonight. Um, we've had rain here the last three days, so we're just playing catch yeah. up today. Yeah. Let's do Tyler, are you going to do some more work on some writers or what? Oh, yeah, probably. You got too many of them outside. Come lots on. Of, there's lots of them here. Yeah, the other day, I think Eric was saying, oh, we got about 44 due in tomorrow. I'm like, where do you put them? <laughs> uh, we got a lot of space here. We're lucky. It's all bedrock. Like, there's no soil. Very so, that works pretty yeah. good. We're lucky here. Yeah. So you just yeah. line them up in the in the order that they come in? That's <laughs> right. We have a sign out front. <laughs> um, we have a sign out front that says... Drop your machine at the end of the line. And don't touch other people's and equipment. Yeah. We, yeah. We, have to, we have to specify oh, don't, don't touch other people's stuff because people start. Oh, pop in the John Deere hoods. And you like, know how soft like, they just. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Those, yeah. I had yeah. one crack. The wind, the wind blew it yeah. shut and it shattered. Yeah. 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 So, so when, all the stuff you've got out, is it stored outside waiting to come in and be worked on? It yes. is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't have indoor storage. So they, they come in, they sit in line outside. When their turn comes up, they come in, the work gets done, and they go back outside to a different lineup, and they get called for pickup. You need a you need a ten foot high pole shed, not too high. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, no to, high winds, Bruce. To yeah. keep everything inside, we'd have to have a warehouse, and yeah, it's yeah. just not going to happen. You don't want to get too big. <laughs> yeah. What no. happens if this thing becomes successful? I find the worst thing yeah. is the water will get down the throttle cables and freeze if it's cold. Yeah. And you'll get, that, yeah. That's the worst. That's the, yeah. all that will happen. That is the worst. So, well, so we're not big here at Eliminator Performance. We're just as, me and uh, me and my son. That's it. So see, I don't we've got get a, a 10 by 20 foot shed that we try to store stuff in, and then we've got extra stuff that gets tarped outside, but we don't leave anything exposed. Because we had one uh, old lady, really old, older than me. Her lawnmower, hey. her lawnmower, her riding Massey Ferguson had never seen the outside unless it was cutting grass. And she <laughs> took it to the local Cub Cadet dealer. And she went to check on it in two weeks. And it was sitting outside. And she freaked out. <laughs> she started yelling and screaming. And then uh, they told her, well, we'd be the ones that could get it for her quick. So she called us and we got it back to her the next day. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Most yeah, people, well, we have the odd customer who actually brings a tarp with them because they know what's going to be outside. And if they yeah. want to mm -hmm. tarp it or wrap it, they, they yeah. can. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. We're moving so many pieces of equipment every day that it's just. Yeah. I call that machine Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the name of your company? So if you notice my videos, I I keep the signage and everything. Oh, so nobody shows up. I mean, we have had people show up here because some people are able to kind of piece it together. Yeah. But, um, no, you know, like I said, it, this is public. Yeah. Here, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about well, it. Yeah, the whole yeah, yeah. point of this YouTube channel wasn't. Right. It wasn't. Business, it wasn't yeah. for advertising. It was to share. It was kind yeah. of a, a little, a little but, side project to just show what we're doing. But I tell you, the way you're going with monetization, you guys are going to be going cha-ching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Because Jake and I were talking about it the other day, and he said the one mistake when he started his YouTube channel was having Eliminator Performance and having the business called the same thing. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how many phone calls we get from subscribers wanting us to help them over the phone. Which, mm -hmm. like, I'll take the time to do, but Jake just doesn't have the time because yeah. he's steady on the phone lining up the work for the following week with people mm -hmm. calling him up. And he just got so busy that we went from, uh, you know, anybody calling and, and bringing their equipment to now it's by appointment only. So he books it. 
So yeah. I don't think he, he normally tries to keep it to around four or five pieces of equipment a day, depending upon what they are. Yes. Yeah, so I have had the odd phone call come in um, from people who have figured out who we are and, and that's okay. I asked him, how did you find us? And he said, you were hard to figure out, but I, he somehow pe piece it together. Mm -hmm. um, but I, yeah. I've put, I put an email address up so that, and I do get lots of emails from people asking me about tools, certain, certain things. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Cause emails I can, I can answer in my downtime, but I definitely don't need the phone ringing more or, yeah. you know, yeah. you know. There's got to be a line somewhere, and that's where it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. I don't blame but, you. <laughs> but people are figuring it out. I've had saws dropped off, and the guy walks in. He's like, I've seen you on YouTube, and I'm dropping my saw off, and that's okay. If, if someone can figure it out, then they've, they've done some work. But I'm careful to leave, to not hit, not to tape our signage or to watch like our stickers on stuff um, yeah. just to kind of create, you know, a little bit of mystery and I don't know, we'll see what happens, yeah. but we're, we're definitely, we're, we're busy. We're busy enough that I'm not, um, this isn't an effort to try to drum people up in here. It's just, a, it's like a, fun to do. it's a side yeah. project. It's, yeah. But the only good thing too is like with the YouTube, like I said, it, we're, my channel is fairly small, like five, six thousand or whatever. But the monetization that I get each month, even though it's not a lot, it'll pay for if I want to get a camera or if I want to help out the channel yeah. or something like that. That's what's nice yeah. about it, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I, I've been watching, well, we don't really have normal TV. We just watch YouTube. Yeah. And, um, Same here. Yeah, there's, quite, here. there's quite a few well, people we watch. If you hit the chicanic numbers of 400,000 subscribers, you'll be able to build that warehouse you want. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Story. I don't know if I'll ever hit hit her numbers. But oh, you're you getting, hey, you better get out in five weeks. I mean, you're doing hey, if, if you If you get a tank top, it'll work. Nah, don't do that. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, don't do that. no, no I, won't, I, won't be, I won't be doing that. Yeah. Um, guess guess, guess yeah, where you got least don't. You could put Tyler in a in a in a skim. Sorry, Hank, Hank, yeah. I'm sorry, Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. What were you saying? I said, guess where Chicana got her start from? We announced her on the Mixed Mower Show, and yeah. Yeah. we only had 21 subscribers. Yeah. And from yeah. That day on, she it went up. up. Yeah. 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 Mixed Mowers um, and uh, Musty One, or not I've Musty never, One. Um, uh, I haven't spoken to her. I. I've had a few people comment under my videos talking about her and, you know, you and her should talk and whatnot. I don't know her. I've never spoke to her. Yeah. I don't you know. Just, you just, you just do your thing. Yeah. 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 You just, it's you funny. Cause when I look at your videos, Erica, and I made this comment the other day to my friends, we're good friends with James Condon, Mr. Generator, who does all yeah. the generator videos. And we're really actually very good friends with him. And I consider you and your video quality to be of like James Condon caliper because mm -hmm. Your videos lately, even crisp, clear, to the point. You're not missing anything. You get great shots. What, what are you actually using for a camera? What do you use? I'm using my phone. Yeah, no, really, for all your stuff. Wow. <laughs> and it, you, you know what's ironic? That's what Condon uses. It's he uses lawnmower. Software, no, it's from Stella from Lawnmower. From the editing, but he yeah. uses his phone. And it's like I hear about all these people. Oh, you got to buy this phone and that phone and a road mic and this and that. It, you know no. what? It's about content. It's not about what you're yeah, using. Yeah, no, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. yeah. 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 So when we well, started this, that's uh, the trick. Okay. When we started this, I was asking, I was due for a new phone. I was looking at cameras, but I was due for a new phone, so I thought I'm gonna just. This is a iPhone 15, I think. Well, there you go. That's the iPhone. That's oh. why you got. Some. Yeah. But I was I was due for a new one, so I thought I'll just get Shut a up, good phone, and then I don't have to have a camera as well. Yeah. So all I really did was go out and buy this little tripody thing. Yeah. And uh, start filming. Right on. Good for you. And I, wait, I wait. Do that, my, does that work uh, something like, like this? Yeah. We have a little tripod with that. Yeah. 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 I think we all did that to start. I, I, bought, <clears throat> I bought one, just never did that's use it. That's exactly what I have. And my phone yeah. is like yeah. permanently. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but Erica, but, but Erica, you, you can you can you can buy stuff until you run out of money. It's mm -hmm. content. It is content. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do a video and, and I've I've seen your videos and and, and I'm not saying I'm an expert. I am not, but I do know a chainsaw. Unless, yeah, 
someone mentions but, oil pool. Un, <laughs> unless somebody mentions oil, yes. Uh, but, but, yeah, just you know, so you know, Erica, he's the word for Shell Oil. He's our oil guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm the oil guy. Um, but <laughs> your, your videos, they're great. Cause, he cause pumped, yeah, he pumped three. What do you there. use to uh, edit with hey, Shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whose stream is this? Uh, I'm talking. No, I'm saying your videos are great. I mean, Most is from Denmark. And, and, they, and they, they give people something they didn't know, and, and, and they give you the inside of a, a machine in a way that's easy to understand. And you're doing great. Just yeah. do that instead of buying whatever equipment. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. Do, you're Just done? do that. It's you're great. Done? And he's only had one yeah, beer done. today. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. <And> my first <laughs> uh, tripod was a coffee can, so you're doing great. Well, what, do you, what do you use for editing? Uh, so I just use um, iMovie, which is oh, yeah. already on my phone. So I yeah, okay. I've i literally yeah. bought this tripod for 20 bucks, and I haven't spent anything other than that. I just turned the phone on and started filming it. And then I did buy... Um, that's the way to go, oh, sweetie. It really my is. audio was a problem, so I went and just my oh, little my, um, my yeah. mic thing, yeah. which I think was thirty dollars, and that's, that's I, how I know when I first, uh, started. My audio was. I'm trying to make it quiet and crisp, so yeah. I can. How, you, how did you do like your Hank does his videos? Do you have a boom or something for <laughs> overhead shots, or how did you do? Um, it? No, it sits on a tripod, um, just facing me over there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I know when you did the Carby on the 038, you had some real nice clear shots. This is, well, I guess I bought two of these things. This is what the phone sits yeah. in while I'm filming. Yeah. Yeah. And That's nice. That's a nice height. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Do, do you ever overdub afterwards, like put your voice over after? Is it all real time? So if, if you've seen the scenes where I'm looking into the so, cylinder with my camera, yep, yep. that is over... Um, that's me over. What do you call it? Voiceover. Voiceover. Yeah, voiceover. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, voiceover. But other than that, voiceovers. Other than that, it's that's probably the only place I voiceover. Yeah. John's learning a lot because he's still proud of his two videos, eh? I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, my oh, I got how to edit one day too. See you, Take bro. care, bro. See you, bro. Bye, guys. Take care, bro. See you later. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Edit, editing us for wussies. Just. They say they say get two or three cameras, film everything, and then just edit out the garbage. Yeah. No, I just so, film everything with one camera. When I know. um when I do a chainsaw repair, when I'm all done, I could have I might have three hours of footage and I throw yeah. it all into iMovie and then I watch mm. the whole thing probably four times, cutting and splicing cut, and cut, split, trying cut, to shorten cut, it up. Split, cut, cut, split. Yeah. And now, uh, when, when when Tyler is working, are you videoing him, or is he setting up a camera too? So in in the videos of him, if you've seen some of our scrap it and fix it stuff, yeah. I was op I was moving around the camera, kind of filming him. Okay. And then on the chainsaw stuff, sometimes if it's up close stuff, I've got the camera and I'm just moving it around. Um, but if it's distance stuff, sometimes he'll turn it off, turn it on for me. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a joint effort. Okay, good. Cool. Sometimes I'm I'm working away and realize the camera's not even on, and I go back and start over again. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Welcome to the club. Sometimes I just apologize yeah. and say, "Hey, you just missed the best part." Yeah. yeah. Well, that Secret Santa video I did it was 22 minutes, and by the time Jake finished editing it and turning it into something that was good, it turned out from 22 minutes to six. Yeah. But he did a good job, but a lot of it got cut out, and he spent two hours editing it. Yeah. yeah. My worst ones were I was, when, I was, when I didn't know how to edit, I'd go get a wrench, and everyone's like, shut the damn camera off. Because it was like two minutes, and to walk inside, get a wrench. Walk out. Yeah. yeah. My first couple, the first couple of things we filmed, I didn't know, how, we had already filmed, and I don't, I didn't know how to edit. So Tyler's like, you better, you better, better figure it out. Yeah. So I just went on YouTube and, found the iMovie uh, someone giving a tutorial about it and that's I just got it on my phone and then I figured yeah. it out pretty easy right from there. Good. Yep. good for you. That's what I use, iMovie. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I find it pretty it's easy to use and 
Yeah. There, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles yeah, like yeah, but fast. But are, are you iPhone. editing on a phone or do you download to the PC or something? On my right? phone. I film on my phone, I edit my phone, and then I upload from my phone. Okay. Well, I download to my PC and then I, but I'm on uh I'm a PC, not Apple. Okay. And yeah. I just but I have uh, an old program called Movie Maker, which is like iPhone. Yeah. And uh, I just use it on on my PC. I had to pay for it though. Oh yeah. It's kind of handy because I'll film and then you know, sometimes I wake up in the middle of night, 2 a.m., and I'm like, oh, start editing. And then yeah. this morning, I think I was this? up at 4, and I just, I just started editing the video that I posted this morning about just kind of um, mo Monday in the country, I called it. Yeah. I was just woke up early, started editing, and um, but it's handy because I can do it wherever I am. My phone's there, and I can do it. I've been on for 13 years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Seen you can you can set the video so you you it's it's uh it's it's uh, it's out a spectacular spectacular day if you want you don't have to uh, put it out the the same day no yeah. that you upload it just a upload it and let it sit there yeah, and yeah, then when I go, okay, I gotta, when I, I'll say when I go to Mexico I've got 13 videos all scheduled right into the end of February. I, I, I need, need to know so about that. Yeah. I need to get ahead. Yeah. I heard I heard you guys talking earlier about I must have a bunch of videos banked up, and honestly, mm -hmm. I have nothing banked up right now. The video that I'm working on, that's all yeah. I have. I have nothing yeah. ahead. Yeah. Scheduling is a wonderful thing because then it gives you a it gives you a break. Yeah. 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 So that's many why I never I'm... mentioned. Sorry, that's why I never mentioned the date in any of my videos, uh -huh. and I always try and dress the same. But it's yeah. Bruce Lee, if you put out a video in June and there's snow on the ground, we sort of get the hit. <laughs> yeah. Bruce, Bruce always look dressed. So. Yeah. Yeah, you well, should be back. One dog in shorts, the next is snowblower. So yeah. It, no, no. It, it's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been doing it for seven years, and he's taken, right now, it's a seven-month hiatus because he didn't have a life. Doing a video once a week for seven years, just yeah. got to a point where, hey, you know what? I got a girlfriend now that I want to spend weekends with. I got my Mustang I want to build with my buddies. So, yeah. Dad, you're in charge. <laughs> and during the, and during, and during the week. <laughs> How's, know, that, go? How's uh, that going there? During the week. Uh, well, it's it, it's not bad. I just <laughs> tell, I kicked him out of the shop. I say, listen, it's nice when I'm in here by myself and I can get stuff done without having an argument about what I'm doing. <laughs> but Aaron, you, guys, you guys are close. You don't do any of this stuff Sunday, do you? Anything? What's that? Sunday? I we work. I work seven um, days a week. This time of year, you this wait. time of year, we we yeah. just we work when we're awake, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our work is fifty feet from our home, and it's pretty hard to escape it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah. our kids were raised in this shop, and yeah. you've probably in the background seen people walking around here. That's the kids coming and going. And this this is what we do. You it's, kept your uh, kids if, in the if, cow barn. So are the if kids I, yeah. too? <laughs> if I could give you a, a, a good advice, sit down and th figure out one day a week you want to post a video. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and bank them up and have seven videos. So it will stress so much down. I've done it myself the last half year to a year. Yeah. every friday and yes i got it's it's not so stressed i'm i'm just relaxing well, and vacations and other things a, too, yeah. a, a perfect day it's yeah. it's gonna be out as close, that's what i was, close, that's what I was thinking uh, fridays sunday. or saturdays just post one a week and get on a yeah. schedule isn't there a good day I, 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 I mean, wasn't there a good day to post videos per youtube algorithm was when for me it was to, uh, tuesdays and fridays and it was working great for a while but now i'm not making enough videos to yeah. you, hank? punch through but, the no, no, but, 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 but sorry hank what they they claimed wednesdays were the time that people you know are more susceptible to watch because yeah. it's the middle of the week yeah. That's why I went to the but, 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 but Erica, if, if you got, I, I got in this thing where, where I do I do Saturdays and Wednesdays. I do two videos a week, which yeah. is a, a little too much actually. But yeah. then again, I don't spend a whole lot of time editing. I just glue it together and ship it out. Yeah, but, not good enough to plan it. Yeah. I exactly. Uh, but but if you do, what you could do is that you can say. 
this Saturday we do a full, I mean, a full rebuild of a carp or a full rebuild of a chainsaw. The next Saturday is going to be a, a short, not 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 a not a YouTube short, but it's only going to be a 10, 15 minute, minute video on a tool or an approach or something. Mm -hmm. Next Saturday, you do a full thing. Again, it could be a lawnmower. Sure. It can be whatever, a big thing. Mm -hmm. And then, so, so you give yourself some wiggling room in terms of, of, of your workload in relation to YouTube because mm -hmm. making videos is a stress factor. Yeah. Just like yeah. having customers, it's a stress yeah. factor. Well, yeah, I have a customer who wants his unit you, back in two hours. I'm actually I not six done hours. talking. Uh. <laughs> and they're the best of friends, Eric. You can tell we've been doing this a long time. We've been doing this a long time. You always no, start the one no, you love. No, I know. No. <laughs> what I'm saying is if, if, if you, you, you can educate your viewers that they will get this flow There'll be one big one. There'll be a smaller one. There'll be one mm -hmm. big one. There'll be a smaller one, and and then decide if you want to do one a week or two a week. Some people do three a week, but I don't know how they do that. But and 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 get into that flow. So so you know, in two weeks, I have to make a big one. You can start planning. Maybe maybe that machine comes in that. Oh man, that's great for a big one. You mm -hmm. do a big one, and then you maybe maybe you have something banked. That, that they, you can throw in if, if you're in a pinch. Yeah. It, it just makes the stress of the YouTube thing so much lower. It takes me longer to edit than it does to do the job. Yeah. Let me, let me, yeah. I'm going to raise my hand here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> done. I'm done. You're up, Kenny. Hey, go ahead. You sure? No, no, no. I just wanted to ask what, you. What the hell is wrong with you? You, with... you think you own this stream or what? Uh, I do. But anyway. Oh. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Anyway, Erica, when when you're doing your YouTube video, though, with the busyness of the business and all that stuff, do you put time aside to do the video, or is it at night, or when do you actually do it, yet still have time during the day to do your work? So um, I try to film early in the morning or in the evening. So this morning, we came out here at, I don't know what time, 6.30 maybe. Ooh. So we open at 9, so that gives me a couple hours of yeah. Until the doorbell, we have a, a dinger. You've probably heard it when someone yeah. comes at the front door. Yeah. And then I just turn the camera off and I kind of, anyways, today I was working on something and we had a very busy morning, so I didn't get very far. But now we're closed till Monday. So I'll probably try to finish this 362 today. You got to do like Terrell every time the doorbell, money! Money, that's yeah. a money dinger. <laughs> But remember, uh, they, YouTube doesn't want you to do one a day. You should space it out at least every other day. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't think it's a week. Okay. No one a week is, not is good. Yeah. Shut up, Klaus. Okay. <laughs> well, we got a three-year-old coming over in 20 minutes, so I'm going to have to go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we've got on two and a half hours. But, Erica, we appreciate you and uh, Tyler coming up. We really yeah, appreciate nice you. See you. Um, no, but we well, no, I wrecked the party. We'll put links to your channel in the uh, description if anybody watches. I get a few views. Yeah, not too many. But sure, anyway, no, we do this every no, week, 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We spend the first hour trying to do technical questions. If anyone asks during the week or if we had any issues during the week, we try and spend the first hour doing that. And then after that, it's all whole, no holes barred, banter, have fun, mm -hmm. and Food. all that. So if yeah, you want to get technical and answer a question or you have a question, mm -hmm. the first hour is the best time to do that. If you just want to crack a beer and have fun, after that. So, awesome. just so you know, but I do appreciate yeah. it. We really do. And thanks for helping boost the Canadian content here with me and Bruce. It helps yeah. us guys. So. <laughs> We're trying. Yeah. All right, everybody. Good. Everybody in the chat. Everybody around. Right. Yeah, I'm out of here. Nice I got to get back to work. Take right. care, everybody. We'll see everybody next week. Bye. And Erica, if you hang out and you stay out real quick, I'll just show you something real quick. Yeah, just stay okay. out.